is granted. boom and we are live i'm so sorry to uh start so late today folks i hope you're well who's here luna erica seven swin how you doing i hope you're well thank you all so much for being here uh let me i guess i'll i'll tell you what's been going on roughly i can't give you too many details but <laughs> uh yeah because so we, usually we've been starting between one and two my time that's like five four hours ago uh i'd one i had to which didn't this didn't take long but i had to do this um excellent excellent seven yeah it's uh it's, it's, it feels like that kind of day doesn't it uh well, yeah so i um i had something to sort out in the conflux there's uh a, a bit of an issue that really need to resolve in nothing too serious but um that did involve me like like making a, a clone a channel deleting a channel uh rewriting certain things and then doing an announcement so if you remember the conflict you've probably seen the announcement and depending on who you are you may it may mean something to you or it may not mean anything you're like ah, whatever um right on time <laughs> swing bless you bless you uh but yeah seven please make, make me laugh to your heart's content that's what i appreciate humor you gotta have humor um that the main thing i had to do is um and i can't give too many details away about this because there's a little it's like it's super secret project you'll know about it in due course um but i can't tell you too much about it um i thought i had a bit more time to do something uh there's a bit more of a deadline on something um there's uh i had to basically i had a document i had to go through and edit basically it took a while i, don't, I hate writing and then i have to uh check with the author if the edits are appropriate uh and then do something else with that basically yes yeah, so that it needs to be something that's done at some point and you know i probably could or should have done it yesterday it's just uh, when when f monday and uh friday roll around i'm just so like tired by the time i get up after i had a line have my breakfast and whatnot i'm uh i like look around and i'm like oh my god it's like it's almost like evening anyway just gotta just chill just want to relax for a minute is that too much to ask <gasps> lord Pray to the heavens you're gonna get no response so don't worry about that uh <laughs> talent show me um me on a talent show what would be my talent exactly seven unless the <laughs> unless it's actually just comedy talent show not as in being a comedian just let what idiots could we get up here to laugh at <laughs> then i might win i might win uh <laughs> but I, just, I don't care as long as you're happy that as long as you're here um but yeah, I mean, uh, there was a, a little um, a vague idea, Seven, of uh, me essentially doing karaoke on stream. That wouldn't be good, but that's not the point, is it? That's not the point of karaoke. It's just, it's, you know, it's about expressing yourself and all that. But um, I don't know if I've got... Uh, the mic's obviously good enough, but getting the filter set up correctly on... Uh, on OBS, does like sound good, uh, regardless of my my crappy singing voice. And then, of course, you've got like the issue of uh, DMCA, so like you can't actually play a song. So how would it work? And there's going to be channel point redemption for it, and all sorts of things. Or um, 
but yeah I'm, i don't know maybe off stream but there, here's the thing there's um you know it's uh like, even if i had the mic set up and the dmca wasn't a problem uh sing singing loudly during the day i mean on the evening it's like neighbors and brother and stuff it's uh <laughs> not a good red mage red mage how you doing yeah that was that movie you showed me that uh sign movie vegeta coming out fighting broly i don't i i i, I don't want to get any spoilers so i just kind of like skip through it briefly i was like oh my god this is wild um which is appropriate as a uh, red mage himself is uh most assuredly over nine thousand mm. yeah get the groceries are you are you going out to get groceries seven are you just bringing them in either way see in a minute um thank you red mage let me get that uh flex feel on the blow on the blood uh okay i'll so not lurk on uh people while i'm streaming that's distracting sorry lee i was lurking on lee for a minute there um here we go yeah so sorry i'm late today guys it's just one of those things that needs to be taken care of i also went used um so i banned all those bots we got follow bot with the other day but they were still counted as followers so i had to do a little bit of investigation how do you remove followers because you can because you have a list of people who follow you but there's no option to like remove them as a follower <laughs> But there is uh, some somebody by the name of Commander Root. I've heard the name before. You guys probably know of, of him. Um, and he has a tool where you just log in your Twitch to it. And you see all your followers. And you can do all sorts of other things. You can do all sorts of things. So I went through that. And not only like banned and blocked them. But you can force them to unfollow. And make it so they can never refollow you ever again. So I was like, yeah, done, done well, Commander Root. Thank you. It seemed to work perfectly. It took a minute, but um. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We are here now. Uh, I'm also f freshly sh shaven yesterday. I noticed I'd um. Not had a shave or a haircut since before the funeral, and uh, I was like feeling a bit jank. I was like all oh, extra hairy, and I was like, mm, let's not let's not have this. Red mage, that is your twelfth flex, sir, and that is moving you up the board a little bit here. You've just overtaken the Kuma. And that puts you in 10th position. Red Mage. Done well. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah. Kuma, get down to 11th, mate. We start at 11. It's a lot of flexes. Anyway. Um, right, okay. It looks in... Yeah, because the artwork was very particular. Um... Red Mage, I, I, when I looked at it, I was like, hey, wait, is this a, is this a fan movie? And it, and for a fan-made movie, it looks freaking incredible. Can't believe it. Um, I shall not. He shall have to notice on his own. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that. Um, looks fantastic. But yes, it doesn't matter. I'm here, guys. We're already at the, the halfway point of the stream. Uh, got coffee we're just chatting so we will do a little bit of dragon age shortly but um that is what it is now this document i edited i've sent back to the author if i hear back from that individual today regarding the secret project i may need to take some time tomorrow off stream for something different so we might be doing a short uh, a later and shorter one tomorrow as well again i do apologize sometimes these things come up and because i have that locked in uh you know five days a week seven to eight hour streams um it does mean when things come up other extra things that i just with the, the schedule i do not have time to address it unfortunately does have to cut into our streams uh whether that's like skipping a whole stream or you know doing a late you know doing a half stream you know like starting later or finishing early it, you know, it is what it is. Um, oh, plus one strength drum drumsticks. Yeah, you get those in the oven, bro. Done well. I actually had chicken yesterday. Oh, my God. Chicken's so good. Yeah, I love chicken. Uh, <laughs> don't get it. Don't get to have it as often as I'd like. But, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a fiend when it comes to consuming of all food. All and any food. But um, here we are. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. Uh, Luna, it's lovely to uh, see you uh, right in there. And Erica. 
God damn, Erica, your emotes are so good. Um, I like that one of uh, Luna's there. Wicked White. That's nice. Um, yeah, hundred percent ready. I could eat chicken every day. I just like live on chicken wings. Like, literally, I don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even need any other food. Carbs, whatever. I, I guess I'd miss them, but just give me more chicken wings. I don't. Ca I don't care. Literally. <laughs> Fruit, vegetables, what? Sugar, even, whatever. Just give me the chicken wings. As long as they've got to be, um, they've got to be well cooked and they, uh, have to, um, you know, they've got to have some kind of seasoning, obviously. And I don't just mean like salt and pepper, you know, they've got to, some kind of sauce, which I guess you're getting, you know, and sugar from that, probably. If it's barbecue sauce, barbecue basted saucy chicken wings, that's, um, that's the way to go. Right, anyway, but we're here. Um, and Squidge was right. I hope Squidge is doing all right at uh, Comic-Con. Um, my God, it is freaking warm in here this weekend. Uh, so warm. So very, very warm. Um, I can only assume tomorrow is going to be more of the same. But, I mean, God, first world problems, eh? Hey? Oh, no, it's it's slightly too warm. God, we're so lucky. I mean, in some ways, we're, um... We're quite, uh... The human race as a whole, we're quite unlucky. You know, for various factors. I won't get into that here, but, uh... In other, you know, but in, in on an individual basis, um... Um, <clears throat> you know, but India yeah, individually, there's people in the world who have it far, far worse than us. It's raining in South Africa. Wow, Red Mage, I, I figure that's not a thing that happens that often, right? In South Africa. That's just my guess. But yeah, nice. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. That's the thing, isn't it, with the rain? You, you want it. Um... No, Luna, no, no. Red Mage there, uh, my VIP good friend, Red Mage. He is, is from South Africa. Uh, I'm not. Um, I don't, you know, I don't have the cool accent. No, but I, I'm in the UK, Luna. South south coast, central south coast of the United Kingdom. Closest city to me, a city called Portsmouth. Um, but yes, there you go. Uh, oh, Luna, you're in Cape Town. Wow, there you go. Excellent. There we go. Isn't isn't that your neck of the woods, Red Mage? Or, or like nearby? I don't know if you mentioned actually. Having said that, but um, yeah. So that's what happened today. Um, this heat is killing us. I shouldn't be drinking a hot beverage, but you know. Also, there you go. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. I, I hear it's real nice. I've never been to um, South Africa. I um, I've had friends that have been over there, and I, I knew a guy who used who was born there, and then he lived over here for a bit, and then he lived. He was all over the place. Um, I mean, I think Red Mage has like most ga games, video game consoles, right? Or you have access to. There you go, but not Xbox, Play PlayStation only, which is. Understandable. I'll tell you what, I I, I felt like uh, in the PS1 and PS2 era, the, the PlayStation controllers were very, very good controllers. I do just feel it, you know, 360 onwards, I much prefer the Xbox controllers. I do apologise, PlayStation, you're fine, but I feel Xbox do their controllers better. Aside from that, you could definitely make an argument that PlayStation's better than xbox the only other thing that xbox seems to have better than playstation is their uh, online service game pass i don't i don't know what the uh, playstation plus i understand they're kind of crappy in comparison but with first party titles and stuff uh and god all those jrpgs yeah, playstation playstation's where it's at um Uh, whereabouts were you from, Seven? I think you might have already mentioned. And I was probably like, where's that? 
because uh you know my i feel like my uh global geography is uh maybe i could understand geography is a little bit better than even like like you know national geography um it's got better over the years but it's like well, i don't really i just look at things of like oh, from a more of a global perspective and as i've never driven i don't drive i don't and i've got no like uh friends or family really in like faraway places i'm just like i, I live where i live i don't it doesn't really matter where it is um a worthing, thing yes yes but it's been quite a while since you've been there as, as an it seven yeah i mean the uk gets a lot of flack and it should for certain reasons but the at the island the actual geographical chunk of land um there is something about it i do i do like living here if that makes sense i think there's other places i might like living more and I'm sure there's plenty of places I'd like to live in less. But, um, you know. Ah, did you, Luna? Yeah, I know plenty of people who've like gone, they started on Xbox and gone to PlayStation. They started on PlayStation on Xbox. Um, so what? I, I'm an Xbox guy, Luna, and this is um, completely coincidental. So uh, I grew up, you know, with the old retro consoles, and then I bought, like, a second-hand PS1. Uh you know, I, and then I um, got a PS2 when they were released. I was very excited about that. I never had the original Xbox, and I didn't see any reason to have it. Uh, well, when it, I remember it being released, and everyone was like, oh, what's... Who, who, Xbox? That sounds silly and jank. <laughs> you know, he's like, P PlayStation and Nintendo. There, there is no other consoles that need to exist. Xbox, and then you saw the console, and you saw the controller, and you're like, bleh, bleh. I was at least, <laughs> but um, then of course you got the uh, PS3 and Xbox 360 era, uh, and I didn't have either. Uh, I was quite content uh, being a PC gamer uh, and you know pulling out the PS2 still. Uh, and then because I think they they got those consoles released in like what 2006, I believe Xbox 360 came out. I think it was like t literally a clear five years after that, like 2011. Or so, no, actually, it might have been 2010. Uh, someone came to me and was like, I, I got a cheap, uh, brand new uh, Xbox 360. Um, and I got it uh, on that. Somebody got it on a phone contract. Do you want to buy it really, really cheaply? And I was like, as it's really cheap and as it's brand new, yes, I will. Uh, and I did. And then I don't think I even opened, took it out of the box for like about six months, a year after that. Um, but then I did and I played a few games and then I kind of got into the achievement hunting thing and then i've you know that's then that's why i bought uh, an xbox one now i'm at the point where i don't really care about achievement hunting uh but i respect those who do uh, i just i just went a bit ha hard for too long and i was like what well, got to the point where you're like, you question yourself you're like why am i doing this i don't know why i'm doing this but <laughs> um like there's guys who are like best in the world and like must be must be weird for them just to, just to be them all day every day you just playing video games that's fine but you're playing video games in a in a fashion where uh it's it's like feels like a chore somewhat um mm. yeah there's a lot i i hate about the uh the politics uh of this country seven but you know you you've got to take the rough with the smooth don't you you've got to weigh everything up weigh it up take, look, here's the bad and here's the good overall i'm i'm pleased i was uh born in this country even though this is a, a lot of weirdness around it um yeah so you're biased red mage yeah of course of course yeah but you can get that's thing you can get final fantasy uh on uh <laughs> have uh you know you get Final Fantasy on uh, Xbox now, so it's like, you know, you know, eh, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, but yeah, so that's the only reason Luna I was ever, I ever became an Xbox guy. Um, I've got no des real desire to have a PS5 or, um, well, I mean, I do, I do if it was free. I'm not going to buy one, though. Um, all countries are terrible. Yeah, the, the concept of a country is weird. There's, um... 
it, Scotty, there should be um we're we're evolved to live in tribes of like anywhere between like you know 20 and like 200 people any more than that things start getting squirrely uh so i feel that if, if for humans they're at their best when they're in a group of 200 people or we somehow come together in the near future or we all plug into the matrix uh and we are all one entity mm. you know there's definite pros to that and there's definite cons to that but anything between those two extremes it just it feels like we're living in chaos um there's there was no there's no harmony um i don't mean tribe as in like identity it's got i mean group of 200 people who live and work together and survive together that's all i mean by tribe <laughs> tribe of one but uh the th <laughs> you can't do everything on your own though scotty are you saying if it was if it was me everyone in the conflux and we all surviving together on a desert island you'd be like no i can't be part of this tribe i have to go over there and do my own thing really um Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know about that, Seven. I have a deep, deep mis, dis, uh, mistrust of any and all politicians. Uh, I've seen a couple, a small handful, that I'm like, oh, actually, you seem to, you seem to genuinely mean well. Whether you're, you know, you may be misguided, but I, I think you, you actually are here for the right reasons. I can't think of any British politicians who that fits in uh to lily how are you doing young lily are you all right my dear i hope you're well thank you for stopping by yes really lol okay i mean fair enough scott we can't make you we can't make you take part <laughs> but you know it's like um what, what 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 do we do if we we manage to do all right and we catch some fish and you know get some coconuts and all, all this kind of jazz and then we look at uh, you over there I went like, oh, there's Scotty over there doing his own thing. He's starving. Should we give him some food? And then you're like, no! Leave me alone! You know, <laughs> you know I don't know. I don't know. Or like, it was the other way around. What if we were all stupid incompetence and we couldn't uh, manage to pull anything off together? And then you, but you're, you're the smart guy. And you're just like, well, screw you guys. <laughs> I've got excess over here, but yeah, jog on. Um... Yeah, I mean, it, it depends what it is, doesn't it? Um, um, <laughs> uh, you know, yes, maybe seven. It's um, uh, it it could, you know, it's uh, I don't know, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like it's a rare is the individual who can do everything on their own, and you're much better placed, um being part of a team you're gonna yeah you know, that's what I, I do believe that you're greater than some of your parts you know um whether that you know whether that's uh two people three people or any number of people as long you know you, you know the more people you get the more problems you get you'd have to make sure everyone's pulling their weight you'd have to make sure everyone is contributing um you know which obviously in modern society you can't that's not a thing you can do um you know, no, of course, because then it's then it's uh, then it's <laughs> then it's uh, slavery, isn't it? Then it's <laughs> then that's fascism. You have, you know, you have to do this. Yeah, but you know, if you if you choose, if you want, you can't have it both ways. What I'm saying is, if you want to be part of the collective, you have to contribute to the collective. But you should never be forced to be part of the collective. You know, but if you are choosing to be part of the collective and you're not contributing then you should be forced to contribute if that makes sense you know there's always something someone can do to contribute in that setting society is not set up currently to allow that um no no of course not scotty but uh you know people might uh it depends it depends how it pans out doesn't it Like, you know, if if we hundred uh, were doing our own thing and you chose to not be involved with us and do your own thing. Now, if you were doing better than us, some people were jealous of you. Um, and if you weren't doing as good as us, 
some people will like look that maybe look down on you and think you're uh, you're silly for not teaming up, but it is what it is. Um, sour bursting crawlers. What gu like gushers? So these like uh these like jelly jelly sweets, seven candy. Um, they've got goo in them. What's this? Have a look. Sour bursting crawlers. Show me. Reveal yourself unto me. Oh wow, yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah, the normal ones look good. Oh my god. Yeah, god, yeah, I could um I could go to town on those seven. Your body weight. Yeah. Oh don't. Because, um, you know, you may not survive. <laughs> but yeah, they look they look really good. I'm not really like, massively into sweets like that. But I reckon I could go go for a few of those, definitely. Um, wow. Nice. But yeah, um, thank you thank you all so much for being here. And again, sorry to uh, you know, keep you uh, you waiting. Like I said, I don't know exactly what the plan will be tomorrow, but I know we'll... I think we'll do, probably do what we did today in that while I will... Um, I will just uh, start a bit later... I'll take care of what I need to take care of, and then we'll just start later like this. And, you know, we just had a weekend where we just do some short streams. It's fine. Um. Oh! Did you, Luna? I'm so pleased to hear that. That warms that warms me out. That does. Uh, <laughs> yeah, people said that. You know, I'll start playing something, and then they're like, oh, you've, you've inspired me to play it. But, yeah. Um. So, did you finish um, Inquisition, Luna? Or are you just are you quite flexible with your gaming? I find it very difficult to play more than one game at a time. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, Seven. But, I, I, you know, it's, it's hard to... Uh, you know, it's hard to... Um, you need consistency if you want to build a cult, don't you? You know, if, you, know you want your cult members to... Uh, <laughs> you know, to have faith in faith in the leadership, you know. Uh, you you got you know, you to put the effort in. You see what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> but yes, thank you. Thank you, Seven. Jokes aside, uh, yes, things do. And that's what I was saying uh, yeah, earlier. It's like when I'm committing, essentially, you know, scheduling like downtime, you know, sleeping, eating, just a little bit of relaxation, uh, and d two days off a week where I'm just not streaming, whether I do other work or whether I'm basically completely lazy. Um, so I feel that's like a full-time schedule. So then there's no room for extra stuff that, you know, isn't a regular thing, but does crop up now and then. It's, you know, it's got to eat. It can't eat into my sleep time, can it? <laughs> no. No. Uh, so we've got to, you know. What did you come into, Lily? Yeah, I mean, have you ever been a, a member of the cult, Lily? It's <laughs> well, you are now, my dear. Don't worry, I'll look after you, I promise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway moving on um yeah no perfect perfectly luna yeah some people do that and i think that's like most gamers do do that but feel free to weigh in here folks uh what do you do like you know lily red mage uh you know what um i i would find that difficult to do that but i'm i think it's because it's i know that i can easily get distracted like if i get distracted i would get just i just gonna end up on like um like a little chain reaction something else distract me and then i'm just gone and then i'll never complete a game i have to sit down and like focus on one thing you know not completely with one thing i can do something on the side but like pl playing two different super chonky super involved rpgs at the same time um that uh, that would be too distracting for me so it's testament to you luna that you can do that uh, I would find that difficult. I'd have to do one, finish it, and then move on to the next one. But that's just me. We're all different, aren't we? Um, um, who's, sorry, who's, who's, uh, who spelled your name correctly, Seven? 
as we, as, uh, as we should. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I said, Lily. That's what I said, right? You say it, you say it, yeah. <laughs> one's a flower, one's a name. But you, you know, one's got an extra L, but you, you say them both the same. I do, anyway. It's hard to, guys, I tell you, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to live up to seven standards. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yet, yet uh, here she is still. So, you know, I must be doing something, right? Uh, <laughs> God, she's like, you heathen. And I'm like, you can't get enough of me. <laughs> so, you know, what I want to do? Anyway, God, I'm sweating out over here. It's that, it's that, that's how warm it is. I'll open the door, but I feel like weird streaming with the door open. Because, like, cat might walk in, a freaking fox might walk in. It's what we've been dealing with recently. Um, thank you, Luna, for hydration. I'll get on that. I've got my coffee here, but it's still a little bit warm. So let's go. Hydration's like H2O. Coffee doesn't hydrate you, actually. It dehydrates you relatively to liquid in it yeah we've had a we had a fox come in the house the other day lily it's ridiculous so in the town i live in gosport there seems to be like a lot of foxes for some reason and i don't know why because it's a bloody peninsula and there's not really you know this it's like scrubland uh and stuff but there's no like forests or anything there's not you know there's there's like greenery but there's not you know there's <laughs> but there's, sorry, there's foxes wander around all the time And there's one particular one that was like hanging out in our back garden and we're like what's during the day just be like sleeping there on the on the lawn and you're like what are you, what are you doing anyway our um the cat flap broke a little while ago and then the fox came into the house through the cat flap uh and it was a whole thing uh <laughs> um and my brother scared it off and we're not actually seen it since but Here's the thing, you can't get in through the cat flap, but my, I don't have a, the window in this room. It's also like a door into the back garden. So if I open the window, there's no window, it's just a door. So if I open it up, I could be streaming and then there's just like a fox here. Because it's not, seemingly it's not scared of people. It's like, I think some people have been giving it food and stuff. So I might just look down and there's a fox and I'm like, that's, I don't really want that. I don't really want that. Um, you yeah, know, uh, uh, yeah to say the least I, I, f I think it's very unlikely we'd get unsavory individuals uh coming into my brother's back garden but you never know you never do know um and as i've got so much focus when i'm streaming i don't i won't want to be concerned about keeping an eye out over there for no sense um yeah exactly you know if i was all uh la -dee da seven you know, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't be into me as much. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's because I am who I am. There's, you know, I've got that roughness. You know what I'm saying? You know. Reality. That's what I'll bring, folks. Anyway. Yeah, you know it. You know it, Seven. You know, that's, um, as I said before, I'm not very good at anything in particular. I'm somewhat good at some things. Passingly okay at video games. I'm pretty a pretty spectacular at not shutting up ever uh, and running my mouth. Uh, some people say I'm even a good streamer, uh, <laughs> but I am absolutely a god-given perfectionist at being myself. Some people struggle with that. Some people feel like trapped in themselves, and they're like, "Oh, I can't. I don't feel like I can express myself. I can't do this. Can't do that." But not me. That is my talent right there. Um, so take it or leave it. Some people, some people like it. You guys like it. I'm glad. I'm very honoured that you do and that you found me. God, magic! And it's all coincidence, isn't it? But anyway. But yeah, uh, Luna, more than one person. Uh, <laughs> I, I am. I really am. And you know, they, these these guys don't mind it. These guys don't mind it. You know, cause some streamers are a little bit more reserved, aren't they? You know, they'll be like, "Oh, he hello, video games." Oh, this in video game is interesting, isn't it? Oh, hello there. And I'm like, yo, did I, did I make did I make a vocal utterance within the past one one and a half seconds? No. Oh, I better get right on that, hadn't I? You know. <laughs> anyway, 
Yes. Red Mage knows. He loves it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Lily. Yeah, it's it's like that. Uh, sometimes... It depends what you're doing in the game as well, doesn't it? I've, um... It's not what's going on. Sometimes I've, I struggle to say something. Believe it or not. I'm like, oh, and chat's quiet. There's not really too much I can say about what's going on in the game at the minute. I don't, I don't know. It can, it can be tricky, Lily. It definitely can. But, um, you know, don't worry about it. The, the most important thing is you're, you're responsive to your, uh, to your chatters. When then when they're there and they're chatting, and I can say this, Lily, the times I've been a, a viewer on your stream, you absolutely are. You are absolutely perfectly engaging. You got that down, so don't, don't worry about that. But yeah, it can be, it can be a little bit frustrating. Uh, you get like periods of time, like everyone goes on the lurk or whatever, and you're like, oh, nobody said anything in half an hour. Uh. Um. Yeah, exactly. It needs to be, it depends on the game, doesn't it? Like, um, I think that's why, uh, you know, I, I lean more towards, generally speaking, um, story-based in RPGs. Because there's a lot to say when there's, there's characters and the story. Dragon Age series, perfect for it. After when we did the Final Fantasy series, perfect for it. Even like Resident Evil, because there's like, you know, there's like a lot of story and weirdness to talk about. Like, when we recently played Rayman Legends, um, it was a wonderful experience for me to uh, play that and stream that on stream and 100% it on stream. Ooh, very pleased with that. Quite an achievement. You, have, you need some measure of skill to be able to 100% Rayman Legends. Not everybody can do it, but I did it on live on stream. Um, because it's just a 2D platformer, you just, like, you know, you're running from left to right and jumping and, and attacking enemies and then... You know, so there's definitely periods where I was like, oh, this is difficult. Oh, th yeah, for half an hour, I'd be like, oh, now I need to do this. And, oh, ah, and he's like, nothing I'm saying. <laughs> patience. You definitely need patience, Red Mage. Uh, I wonder if that you could consider that a gaming skill. And it, uh, of, of metrics of gaming skill, that's definitely one that I feel I have. Like, people might have excellent hand-to-eye coordination, absolute, like, good Twitch reactions, um, gaming skills. But they actually lack the patience side of things. So like, I've tried this three times. I haven't done it. Therefore, get out of here, game. I've got no interest in you. See you later. Goodbye. Um, no, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm pretty patient. Like some of those. Um, there's like a one time trial uh, level on uh, Rayman Legends. I must have done it like a hundred times, hundred attempts at it at least. Maybe two hundred. I think it was getting crazy towards the end. <laughs> um. Oh, did you, Lily? Yeah, I've, I've, I don't know if I've seen you play any of We Happy Few, but I've, I've heard about it. It seems like an interesting concept, what little I know about it. Um, so it's the permadeath run. Is that a setting within the game, or is that like a stipulation you've put on yourself? Uh, we got excited. Wow, what happened? <laughs> yeah, and that's fair, Seven. It's not for everyone. A lot of people like the opposite. They don't, they don't want to do difficult platforming they just want to um, they will be the complete opposite of that i guess like a uh, visual novel which i'm not get i'm not against doing that kind of stuff on stream i know there's a lot of those that you are kind of a bit more uh on the uh you know how should you put this uh, saucy side did you <laughs> you can't um probably can't get away streaming those some of those but you know what i'm saying but uh yeah there's a uh, there's a market for them people are into them um Ah, okay, got you, Lily. It's like a setting in the game. Well, good on you. It's, it's cool that you can enjoy that game enough that you can uh, put that in. I'm, like, super nervous. And I get a little bit frustrated sometimes with games like that. Um, like I can remember trying to uh, achievement hunt Limbo. Limbo's not a long game. Excellent game. Not a long game. But the idea is you die frequently, and then you immediately get a checkpoint just where you died. But immediately. And then you have to, it's like a more like a puzzle platformer. You have to figure out how to get through each little section without dying. Um, and one of the achievements is for doing the whole game, short though it may be, with five or less deaths. That is kind of like nerve wracking because it's very easy to uh, make a mistake. Um, things like that I find frustrating. Um, um, 
rage broken peripherals no i've i've never been that bad luna um definitely there's been times where i've got like physically uh rising temperature angry uh shaking swearing oh when i was playing the evil within on the hardest setting oh oh god yeah cursing but i've never like thrown a controller I'm, i've probably been like oh my god eh! but i've never thrown or like hit or broken anything um yeah it's going well erica how are you doing honey you all right <laughs> wow oh you you accidentally threw the bomb did you lily <sighs> yeah we've all done things like that but we were too far we were far into it but that's the thing you still get the enjoyment out of it and it's fun isn't it um <laughs> i'm sure seven's broken a bunch of stuff before now uh <laughs> rare from from soft uh rage quick compilations i can imagine i can imagine red mage um so, so, i don't know i, I guess because i didn't play the souls games at all well, I was older, so I never like really raged at them. I definitely died plenty of times, as you will see when we get round to them. Uh hmm. <laughs> maybe I'll have to have a little look into that, Lily. I wonder if maybe one of the producers might stick it on the list or something. We shall see. Um You right. Shut up, Erica. Erica, I cannot imagine you raging, getting angry, or even raising your voice. You must be such a nice teacher. I bet your students bloody love you. Uh, love, lovely, beautiful, wonderful Miss Erica. They must be very happy to have you. And, you know, I can't imagine you getting angry at them. I can't imagine you raging at all, Erica. Take it as a compliment. I'm not, I'm not meaning to disrespect you, my dear. You seem too nice to be getting angry. Um, <laughs> but I'm very well. I've uh, had some work to do, hence why we were starting very late. Um... Yeah, no, that's fine. But, you know, if I was a teacher and the kids were misbehaving, I'd be like, Oi! Sit down, you little shits. I wouldn't say the shit because you get, you'd lose your job for that. But I'd be like, Oi! Is Nib Sensei's here? I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'll tell you what the school doesn't want you to hear. Oops, don't, don't tell everyone. <laughs> um, Damage their screen, what they threw their controller at the screen. See, that's, I would say that person, a person who would do that, uh, if you're like a grown adult, if you're a child, whatever, children are children, um, but if you're a grown adult and the frustration of a video game would cause you to throw your controller at the screen and break either one, I would say, not that they shouldn't be playing video games, but they've got some issues that are unresolved. They need to probably do some meditation, uh, do some yoga. Uh, start getting some rigorous rigorous and vigorous exercise in your life uh take up martial arts do something you need to do something because you've got you know you, you know you, that's a, that's the thing you shouldn't be you shouldn't be doing that but anyway <laughs> yeah shites is uh better than shits but either way i don't get in trouble when i come and work at uh, erica's school uh i can be i can be like a cover teacher and then when uh, when Erica gets back, they're like, Miss Erica, that uh that Mr. Isnib was so awful. We're so glad you're back. Um <laughs> You do, dear. Okay. Um Yeah, some Some people are freaking weird, Red Mage. I don't mean weird like me. I just mean like What's that? Uh, you know, know thyself. That's yeah, what you should be on a mission to do. You know, c emotions are a thing that happen to you. But uh, you should be the master of your own emotions, not them, not they of you. Yeah, of course. You know, you cut. You have to. Um, you know, not be a mindless, like unfeeling robot. That's not what it is like. But that's not what it's about. But um. If you're angry, you need to you take the anger, you hold it inside until one day you're fighting your enemies and then you unleash the anger. 
Not waste Django on a broken screen. Well, no, no. no. Yeah, The Matrix is a, a fantastic movie. It's, um, aside it from being one of the uh, all-time great uh, sci-fi action movies, I feel, Red Mage, it, there's a lot there that applies to um, the, a real, a real, you know, our real lives in the modern world, and we then it is uh, at first obvious. And I do wonder if the uh, Wachowskis, is that the brothers who made it, whether it was done, on, they wrote it on purpose like that, or whether they just kind of came up with a cool story and it's nothing more than a cool action movie to them. Um, Garuda! That's our newest VIP right there. How you doing, sir, Garuda? Did I see you streaming a minute ago, sir? Playing some Final Fantasy 2. Good on you. Uh, it takes a real gamer to handle Final Fantasy 2. Not everybody can. Uh, not, you know, not that there's any doubt your game gamer uh, chops there, Garuda, but good on you, sir. Getting through it. Just, just think that's the, the trick of Final Fantasy 2. Just take your time. Just take time. Don't rush anything. Just, uh, you know, just take it nice nice and slowly, and you'll get there, and you'll do it. Um... um is uh, <laughs> they giggle and run. So, what ages do you teach, Erica? Because if they're like sixteen and and doing that, then <laughs> uh, you finished it. Get on ya, Garuda. What's what you got lined up? Because I know you got chop and change. Um, was this summer in? I want to say Mara. Oh god, I'm terrible. It's probably completely some different name I got, but. Uh, <laughs> Oh, there you go, Erica. Yeah, not not 15, 16-year-olds, 5, 6-year-olds. That's such a cool age. I um, I felt that that was the... Uh, when I had to read stories, uh, Erica, when I worked at the library to the kids, that age, 6-year-old, six 6, 7, uh, they're the most appreciative of your time and your uh, attention. They get a little bit older. They're like, who's this guy? What's he jabbering about? Uh, and, with two, and a little bit younger than that, they're a bit more like, you know, they're not like they've got the, f the focus of attention. But that age, they, um, yeah, yeah, I, it was uh, very heartwarming. I never wanted to really read to kids, but um, when I had to do it, you know, when you when you got a job and you just got have to, it has to be done. You know, I'm a, I'm a believer of uh, you know, put your best foot forward and do your best. Even if you don't think it's going to be very, very good, but um, they, they seem to like me. The kids fucking love old Isnib. That I, you know what does that, what does that say? I don't know. You tell me. Ah, yes, Red Mage. Yeah, you said you know Final Fantasy one, as you should. Uh, ah, I did get it right. Some tomorrow is Tuesdays. We're finishing that. Yeah, because I, I know you've been on that for a minute. Um, ah, solo run through of the base game of Final Fantasy fourteen. So is that, um, do you get, like, trusts or something? I don't know how it works in 14. But yeah, good on you. Yeah, nice, Garuda. Get on it. Um. My God, Erica, that's so freaking amazing. I could do that for a job. I mean, I don't know if I could do that for a job, but I don't have the qualifications or the experience or the talent, but for my own sense of self-satisfaction, like, work... Uh, satisfaction. I definitely could uh, teach five-year-olds how to read. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh my God, Erica, that's such so freaking cool. That's so cool. Annoying. It's annoying. Yeah, but you probably also love it. Um, I don't doubt. Uh, <laughs> uh, Oward. That would be so cool to be appreciated like that. Especially when they're that young. You know, if you can just pass on that one um, talent to them, you know, decent, you know, reasonably good level of uh, reading comprehension, they're going to, uh, that's going to serve them for the rest of their lives. Yeah, isn't it? Garuda's a teacher as well, Erica. I think uh, Garuda teaches uh, a little bit older. Uh, middle school, I believe, Garuda, and uh, Garuda is a science teacher. Um, but, uh, yeah, good on you both. Our teachers working hard for our kids. I don't have kids, so, you know. Can you imagine me as a kid? What? Nightmare. You don't want to know. Uh, yeah. 
Scotty's like, leave me alone, everybody. <laughs> Which, you know, I don't... I often sometimes fantasize. Um, not so much nowadays since I started streaming, but um, before, just like, I just want to be left alone by everyone, by society, by family, friends. Um, just stick me in the woods on my own. Just let me survive. Um, um, yeah, so I, I, I do get where you're coming from, Scotty. It's, it wears on you. It does wear on you. But anyway, God, I'm about to get naked in a minute. The heat in here, my God. Right, there we go. So I can get rid of the uh, the sour bursting coolers. And uh, I can tick off uh, Luna's hydration there. Um, I've got a decent amount of H2 on me. Right, so I guess um, is there anything else you guys want me to uh, address or bring up or uh, draw to... Uh, you want to draw to my attention? I guess we'll do a little bit. Probably only like about two hours of, um, of Dragon Age. But, you know, two hours are still, are still you know, can make some decent progress. Um, we are currently in Orzammar. We have chosen to support Prince Balin for the succession to the throne. I don't think it really mattered who we chose to, chose to support. We just had to choose one. They both sound like kind of dicks, honestly. Um, but whatever. We just want to resolve the, the situation so we can have a dwarven king pledge his army to our assistance uh hot tub stream red if only if only god the chance would be a fine thing um but uh so yeah uh we have we've been tasked by balen to go and basically clear out the what's called the carter they are the organized criminal elements in the dwarven under society um they are led by uh an individual by the name of i can't remember her name i know it's going to come up again um oh it's on the tip of my tongue um i don't uh i don't remember it'll come up again but anyway we, we've we uh we bumped into some of them we interrogated them killed them uh, got a key that's going to get us into their uh, base, basically. So we just need to get in there and kick off. And uh, probably just end up killing them all, honestly, as they're criminals. And I'm, I'm quite fond of killing people in this game. Uh, so, <laughs> so we do that, and then hopefully that will resolve everything. And then we're, then we're done and dusted, and we can uh, move on from here. But yeah, let's, let's jump over there and... Um, do a bit of Dragon Age for a bit. But as always, folks, you are more important than the game. If there's anything you want to tell me, anything you'll know about, you know, anything you want to ask me, I am at your disposal. You let me know. Um, let's go. That's what the kids say. Oh, there we go. This. <laughs> oh, look at this. Can we have a webcam? Can we have one of those? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it does it. It's, um cheap ass webcams i mean it works it gets the job done doesn't it all right i'll just try and get in a decent position here get all my liquids ay 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 i'm about to melt my groin it's practically a swamp you didn't want to know that but i told you anyway uh <laughs> I need a fan down here at waist level. And I can just shoot it up my short leg. <laughs> anyway, um, here we go. Yeah, here we go. This is the door to their base. Yeah, we already looked at this a couple of times, didn't we? We just didn't have the key to get in. Yeah, put the, uh, the finger bone token in the slot. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, that's the uh, the coffee done. Moving on. Right, let me see the map here. Uh, doesn't look like much of anything, does it? All 
uh, they're probably going to uh, attack. Luna, yeah, sorry. The, the, the <laughs> all these visual effects. The glowing pink stuff, uh, the misty stuff, that is um, Leliana's uh, bard buff. In fact, I need to... Uh, which uh, gives it... I can tell you what it does. Um... Yeah, that is Leliana's Song of Courage. Um, everyone gets bonus to attack, damage, and crit chance. Um, and the the bonus increases by uh, Lel's uh, cunning. So probably for that reason, we want to probably put some more points into that. <laughs> Crop dust, if only, Erica. God, it's been a while since... Uh, I've had, any I've had any dusty crops. Let me tell you. Anyway, so I've just got to check something here. How was that? There we go. So, sometimes my um audio monitoring, it loses like a millisecond when I change scenes. And it sounds jank in my ears. But, I think, and, but if you just turn the monitoring off and then turn it back on, it seems to fix it right away. Um, but yeah, so uh, Luna is a it's a very good ability, but it is a little distracting, especially if you're in a cutscene and there's all this pink mist just floating around. You know, <sighs> but what are you gonna do anyway? Uh, we also need to um, pop that and that. Uh, everyone else should have all of their buffs on. Looks like it. Hmm. Mm. So let's go. And I bet they attack us as soon as we walk through. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not against that, Erica. I think it's silly that... You know, that, all that should be uh, illegal in places still. I know a lot of, There's a lot of states now in America where it's perfectly legal, isn't it? As it should be. Equal to... Um, you know, equal to alcohol. You know? what? Why, why is it any worse? I think, in fact, I think it's better, personally. But anyway... I've remembered the name of the lady we're looking for, Javia. Javia, she is the leader of the Carter. We need to get her, basically. Um, uh, right there. We're gonna be like, oh, who are you? Oh. What's the password? Oh, he just walks in. Uh, uh oh. Balin rules forever. Haramont rules forever. Javia sucks lizard eggs. I don't know. Wait, I, I remember. Die, scum! <laughs> um, I mean, I don't see how we're getting out of this without a fight. Um, no, Garuda. I did think that because it's very distracting, isn't it? I um, I did think that, Garuda. I looked in the options. There is not. You'd think there'd be, like you say, just uh, something like uh, disable um, spell and ability effects while visual effects while in cutscenes toggle it on or off that kind of thing there's not i don't know if uh maybe dragon age 2 and 3 have that an option like that this one does not so it's like a very important ability that we definitely want active at all times except it looks silly but like all of the others are far more subtle but this is just like constant pink purple mist just falling off your body it's like <laughs> It's very, it's very strange. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I mean, can we bribe him? I don't know. I think we just want to fight these guys, right? If I try, try and be a joker, it's got much of a diss, is it? Sucks a lizard eggs. I mean, I would probably suck on some lizard eggs if he gave me them to me. Do you know? Anyway, um, let's just go on the attack. Looks like we have a martyr, boys. Martyr? We must not exhaust our supplies. Yes, um... Don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah, got wrecked. I got absolutely wrecked. That's the thing. They don't know, do they? They don't... 
it's kind of like a case that you know you don't you don't know how strong someone is until you get in a fight with them you might just have some guy start on you in the street and he's like oh i'll fight you and you're like oh you know you don't look all that and he kicks your ass or vice versa you might have some guy who like, looks real scary but he's actually weak um <clears throat> but um so these guys are like oh we're obviously going to beat you breaking into our base like that it's like no no now you're deaded they are actually and absolutely deaded and you didn't need to be but you are oh god we've got a lot of enemies up in here <laughs> uh i guess we'll hook a right why are we always attracting danger it shall be done as you say very well can't help ourselves is the is the reason enemies approaching everyone's still right looks like it I got stunned there, but real good. That's the thing about fighting dwarfs. One advantage is they are absolutely not going to have any majors. So, you know, they might have rogues and all sorts of you know, traps and might have this and that, but they ain't going to have any majors. So it's kind of like, yeah, we've uh, got a bit of an advantage in that regard. Right, okay. Otherwise, not really much too much there. Let's try this way next. I'll be a dead end, it looks like it. We must not exhaust our supplies. Oh, they got Canary Mercenary. Okay. Time to be crushed. You will switch finally beneath my Wrecked. Bless them. It's not their fault they're criminals, is it? I'd been there if I'd if I'd lived their lives, I'd been their position in this city. But still. You know, we've got a job to do. What now? <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I mentioned uh I got rid of all those bots, didn't I? All those fake followers. Uh so I'm like back down to the normal amount. 566 that's our true true follower count uh which i'm i'm pleased about because you don't want to inflate a nonsense deal we must not exhaust our supplies very well Yeah, I don't know if the set of shales uh, AI up, but um, yeah, they're just getting stuck in now, which is kind of what I need. So yeah, good on your shale. No hanging around. I think I just put them on like aggressive uh, preset, which uh, I mean, near the start of the game, maybe you want to like be a bit more cautious and you don't just want everyone just rushing at the nearest enemy, but... I feel now we're at the point where what how, what levels everyone? 14? 16. Level 16. There we go. Shale's almost 16. So it's like um <clears throat> that's quite far into the game. I don't think there's like a limit 
But I think, if I recall, it's like if you're kind of looking at anywhere between like 20 and level 25 by the time you kind of complete the game. Depending on how many, like, how much extra stuff you do. Um, yeah, you do that, Red Mage. I'm jelly, buddy. I shouldn't be. I don't know what I've got. I've got, I'm sure I'll find something. Um, and so I think we want to go this way. This might be a dead end as well. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, Elven Mercenary. And Canary Mercenary. Right, well, okay, I guess the Carter, um, just, uh, they've got the money to hire people as well, seemingly. Is finished. What's this? Kanki's common box. Who's Kanki? <laughs> uh, emerald costume ring. An expensive material. A gold and a silver. Okay, they're just for selling, maybe. I guess so. Oh, never mind. Onwards. Um. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know what that, that popping off is, honestly. But <laughs> okay, it looks like that room there is not a dead end. That might be the way to go. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try uh, this room first. Yeah, go this. I'll deal with the uh, cunning trap in a minute. Yeah, not much you could do about a magic trap. Yeah, there we go. Good choice. And wrecked. God, yeah, these dwarfs don't stand a chance, do they? Stunned as he died. Never mind. Yeah, I don't always feel bad for them. I guess, we, like I say, we just got uh, we've got very good gear now. We're like reasonably leveled. I know Atheline said, um. She felt that, like, um, you can kind of, like, do any area at any time. Um, like, kind of, the level of enemies somewhat adapt to you. But I'm sure you can you can very, like, well, overtake that at some point. Which I feel that's kind of um, what we've probably done here. It's fine. Oh. It's fine, though, because it's like, you know, we're, we're the Grey Warden. We're here to defeat the Darkspawn and save the world. So, you know, we, we've got to be a badass, haven't we? It is begun. That's our that's our purpose. Look there, a cunning trap. Not that cunning. <laughs> Approaching. 
All right, looks like this is their prison. Looks like they've got someone uh, locked up over there. Let get the pressure first and have a, have a little word. That's the key. Lesk. Please, stranger. Let me out. I see you bear no love for Jarvia. Please, help me. You gonna get to tell us any more than that? Please, stranger. Let me out. I see you bear no love yeah. for Jarvia. Please well, yeah, I mean, he's obviously me. done something across the Carter. That they've imprisoned him. Doesn't mean he's a good guy, but, you know, enemy of our enemy, you know, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, no worries, Gruda. You get on that walk, buddy. Enjoy. I hope it's lovely. Finished. Thank you. We've been down here. It's been so long. My friend didn't make it. No. Just stopped eating one day and all for a stupid bet. For a stupid bet? That sounds weird. Okay. He's got some uh, st stealth skills, at least. Who knows? Who knows who he is? Hopefully, he'll remember that we helped him. <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? I keep putting some kind of debuff on the shale, but they're like, shale's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't even uh, bother them. In fact, I'll probably look what it is briefly. Yeah, uh, Mark of Death, that's the one that I've been using. Yeah. But yeah, just get additional damage from all attacks. But it doesn't matter. It's uh, shale super chonk. Practically wiped out their whole operation at this point. Yeah, you shall do it. There we go. Okay, there we are. Missed that. The number of times there's like um, a corridor full of traps and the AI, the AI of our party, they're not like trained to um, avoid traps. They will just walk in a straight line. I have to like tell them to avoid them or whatever. But they, they, it's, sh it's shocking how they almost always seem to uh, <laughs> not get caught in traps. I'm like, okay, that's not upsetting. I'm pretty, I'm sure it's not in the AI to avoid it. Uh, Jammer's, Jammer's common box. Okay, iron letter opener, red steel letter opener. Steel. Okay, this is interesting. Sort of some costume rings and some letter openers. Very curious. That seems to do briefly do some damage. How oh, very strange. Oh, yeah, look, I've been, um, I've got an injury. Damaged eye. Oh, God. Penalty to attack. Let's, um, pull out an injury kit, shall we? The hey, look, I've got, what's this, what's this here? Oh, it's a letter opener. Let me have a closer look. <laughs> Poke yourself in the eye with it. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Um, but we've stormed through their base and murdered them. <laughs> Jarvis isn't going to be happy when we find her. Um, <coughs> oh. <coughs> um, did they? Who, who, who is Mr. and Baby Shark? 
Enemies approaching. Oh, L for mercenary mage, eh? Oh, she lost her head. Bless. I'm trying to turn the fan on, but <clears throat> it's like I don't. I'm inclined to not. You, you know, use electricity if uh, we don't have to. All right, peaks common box. All right, trinkets, flora, spar, garnet, malachite. Wait, what are all these for? And oh, ah, and then picking those up gives us an injury. How very strange. I've got two injuries. Oh, one of them got healed. There we go. Weird. Anyway, uh, Shale's got to level up. Right, what do we need from you, Shale? More strength, I guess. Oh, no. Actually, more dexterity. So we can start with getting towards perfect strikes. That's what we actually want. Yeah, it's a couple away. Um. <clears throat> uh, death blow. We're still pushing the warrior's stamina every time they get a kill. Uh, that's the only problem with Shale. I like Shale a lot, uh, but they do are somewhat limited on their uh, their uh, ability trees. I don't think they can learn like extra specializations, like warrior specializations. I think they're kind of set in their ways. Oh, I see. I see, Seven. Ah. I'm for you now. I don't know if I'd have the patience for that. But then again, I've not... Um, I've never had a pet dog, so I don't... I don't know. I guess it's like... it's. A, you have to put the time in anyway, don't you? So I guess if you, have, if you do it, then you do it, but... If you're not used to doing it, then... Alright, okay, let's, um... Go this way first. I am done. <coughs> Sorry, I can't, um... Clear my throat at the minute. Oh. Yeah, our spiders better than these spiders. What now? now? What now? Um. Now we uh, we leave. That's not the <laughs> not too much to explain, is there? Oh, we got a save point at this door. I bet Javier's in that room there. So I want to like clear out the rest of her troops first. <laughs> In uh, this here direction. And dumb. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Chilling. Yep. 
Yeah, they're just chilling. I think they're dead, aren't they? Right, your jammer's stash box. Okay. Quest complete. Okay. Long runner's cap. Yeah. Oh. Actually, might be an improvement. And it's seven over. gold. Nice. Because maybe getting those other weird items um, contributed us to us uh, getting that. <coughs> oh, they got little deep stalkers that are not attacking us. Hello. All right there. Okay, interesting. I guess they're tame, aren't they? And they don't recognise their master, so to speak. They're just like, oh yeah, we don't attack things. We just, we, you know, we killed all those guys. That's not any concern of ours. Oh, there we go. So we've been through the entirety of the Carter base and murdered basically everyone. So when we meet Java, Javia, well, basically everyone, everyone apart from whoever's beyond this door. Uh, so when we uh, meet Javia, and she's like. Oh yeah, nah, and starts running her mouth. We're just gonna be like, look, look, love, what are you, what are you talking about? Do be serious. <clears throat> yeah, that, oh, so, dogs are so, so curious. Hello. So Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can hold it. Yet he still doesn't bother to send his own men. Nope. Well, you picked the wrong side, stranger. Yeah. It doesn't matter who's king as long as there's a queen. Shut up and die. Uh, you're awfully cocky for someone whose entire carter is dead. Surrender and I'll spare your life. We don't have to fight, I just want to talk. <clears throat> I'm going to just tell her how it is. It's, she, yeah, she's a bit getting cocky. She needs to understand the position she's in. You're awfully cocky for someone whose entire carter is dead. You'll pay for their deaths a hundred times over. Kill them, but leave the pretty one alive. I have plans for her. Oh wow, that sounds uh That sounds very rapey, doesn't it? And who's the pretty one? Lel or uh, or us? Or Borrigan? Or Shale? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um Yeah, it's <laughs> do, do her men just uh know her tastes that well? They're like, oh yeah, the pretty one. That one with the uh the crystals on the shoulders. Oh yeah. Garfi is going to have a time with that one later. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's very rapey, wasn't it? But yeah, who's the pretty one? It could be anyone, couldn't it? But anyway, doesn't matter. Right, let's tidy up the trash first. Wow. Ah, look, she's getting scragged by a spider. Nice. Oh. God, do they just keep coming? No, there must be a limit. Where's the cunning trap? Oh, she, did the killer? She's deaded. Yeah. Yeah, she ran her mouth for no reason. She didn't do that. I admire her confidence. Right, oh, she got some good stuff, no doubt. Oh, another one of those uh, long runners caps. Uh, melee crit chance. Hmm. Uh, and it's going to make you some Carter Key, eh? Hey? Hey. Oh, this must be our uh, little Finish. office. I am done. Uh, love letter. 
not uh that's just a random quest item but uh someone who's a little bit rapey having a love letter in their chest that's a bit that's a little bit weird isn't it Finished. It is. And there we go, and that was the Carter and Javier. Yeah, you, you know, that's the thing, uh, you know, as a dwarf, I feel that dwarfs appreciate, you know, gems and uh, precious metal and stuff, maybe more than the other races, even. Um, so, yeah, I mean. God! By all the beards of my ancestors! How did you... Where did you come from? <laughs> you made a hole in my wall! <laughs> Sorry about that. That hole leads in into a tunnel in the Carter's hideout. Do you have anything to do with the Carter, mate? Weird that they've got uh, an exit into his shop. Well, they, he does seem genuinely surprised. Yeah, you should get it fixed. Yeah, let's... Uh, um let's um get on uh let's put him on his back foot i don't think he does anything i think it's just coincidence but no i don't have anything to do with them they're criminals when they built this part of the city they must have <coughs> built over some tunnels i <coughs> swear i have no idea i believe oh, just leave me alone i don't want anything to do with this and if anyone comes asking i'm gonna tell them you did it hmm yeah, but we're like the best buddies with uh, the guy who's soon to become the king. So I mean, whatever, mate. But on that note, let me let me show you, you some again. stuff. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? Um. Um. Uh. Yeah, we'll see what goes. So, uh, do you have a daughter named Dagnar? I. <clears throat> has she been bothering you? Since I whip a surface tank, and she's like a cave tick, won't let go. Uh, no, she's not being a bother. She wants to become a mage. Um, I want to have a study with the mages. Yeah, he already knows that. Mm. Oh, good. Well, let me know if she does trouble you any. Um, uh, show me what we're going to keep it. I don't think he's got anything we want. We do want to sell all this stuff, though. Uh, not necessarily that important, I don't think. Keep the fire arrows. Oh yeah, the rock knocker. Very, very powerful helm. Yeah, crazy, crazy armor there. Massive armor. Massive mate. Hmm. Need that. Ooh, yeah, our money. We're getting we're getting some nice amount of money now. Ah, yes, of course, the Dwarven Regicide Antidote. We want to turn that in, don't we? Absolutely, we do. Oh my god. Goodness gracious me. Uh, it's got, we've only got like an hour and 40 minutes. This seems weird, folks. So, and we might have the same tomorrow, but we'll, you know, we'll... Uh... Right, so it was... Uh, yeah, it's in the Diamond Quarters, and I, th I believe if we... Um... Yeah, it's good. We've got to go to Balin, and we'll... Uh... <coughs> Where's the other one?
Yeah, I couldn't find that one. The the guy in the proving ground who stole an item. I couldn't see anything there, could I? Yeah, that's what we want to. That's the one we want. Does it? I don't know if it matters really, but. Which one you partic particularly mark at any given moment? Yeah, yeah, it does seven. It does feel a little bit strange, but uh, especially where like over the recent weeks and months we've um you know tried to ramp it up a little bit. But um, like I say, needs must. Uh, so I'll uh, take care of what I need to uh, tomorrow. But definitely time for a stream. It's going to take me all afternoon. What I need to do, but um. It might, you know, it might take you. It take a, like an hour or two. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's in, yeah, it's, they're both in the Royal Palace, aren't they? Lord Haramont, furious at the Grey Warden's interference, claims yeah. no one can stop his plans to strip Ortomar's defenses. Say, insiders. Well, if uh, Lord Haramont wants to, you know, have a word, he's more than welcome to. I think that's uh that's Balin there, isn't it? I think it's um not the ambassador. I think it's the other rumor off to the uh at the other end here. This one? Yeah, I think so. Yes, here we go. Any luck, warden? She doesn't have much time. Uh, I'll see what I can do. There's nothing I yeah, okay, do I give it to her? There you go. Quest completed. She'll be up and around in no time. Excellent. You. Interesting. It's on the quest in this game. It's like, here's a quest to do this thing. There's no cutscene dialogue or reward or XP or anything for doing it. Enjoy. Uh huh? 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 Oh, you put me in your pocket, are you, Seven? Yeah. Well, bless you. Bless you, my dear. But yes, I am here if you need anything from me. Well, you've simply outdone yourself. Yeah, They're haven't we? all over the city about how someone finally went through <coughs> Dust Town and slaughtered the Carta like Genlox. Yeah, you don't... Now, now we've just fallen out, uh, Balin. Genlox... I'm pretty sure it's Genlocks, but well, let's not start a fight now, bro. Uh, <laughs> I did what you asked. You have my troops. They deserve to die for their crimes. Uh, most of them had no choice. It wasn't fair to kill them. Let's not start getting... Yes, that's true. Most of them had no choice. and the They deserve to die for their crimes. No. Um, I did what you asked, Baden. Where's my troops? Not yet. Ooh. Killing Jarvia brought me greater favor. But to truly displace Haramont, we'll need something dramatic enough to end the debate forever. What do you know of the Paragon Bronca? Um, she disappeared in the deep roads. She is the only Paragon in four generations. And she turned her back on her responsibilities. A Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone with her support could take the throne unchallenged. Uh, if we get me my troops, I'll find Bronco. Yeah, so he's like, he's... She hoped to bring her back to endorse you for king. What makes you think she's still alive? Yeah, she's been gone like, what, five years, did they say? Two no, sorry, two years. Uh, did you think she would support you as king? Anyway, what makes you think she's still alive? It seems it's safe to assume she's dead, right? She had an entire house with her, dedicated to her protection. With the number of ruins still intact, they could last for a long time. And Haramont is looking as well. 
it's too risky to assume she's dead only to have him take credit for finding her. Oh, so we want nothing more for you, scum. <laughs> uh, do you think she would support you as king? I was hoping you could use your legendary charm to persuade her that the rightful king should take the throne. Right. However, if the deep <clears throat> roads have addled her wits, it might be best she not return before the kingship is decided. Mm. Balin, you devious bastard. Uh... <laughs> So he's saying, go and find Bronca, and if she's still alive, be like, yo, Bronca, don't you think Balin, Prince Balin, is so awesome and should be the new king? And if she goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I think that's, I think that's great. I think he's a great guy. Then we escort her back. If she's like, oh, Balin, no way, oh, gross, ew, ew, no, Harrimon, he, he sounds like a better bet. Then Balin wants us to kill her, even though she's a paragon. He's a devious bastard, is Balin, isn't he? Um, I'm just going to ask him. He said I should kill her. I would never say that. I would never say it. She is a paragon. Wink, nudge, it's nudge, wink, wink. To protect her. On the other hand, we must respect her decisions. Should she prefer to stay in the deep roads rather than help uh, the rightful king take the throne, we must assist her by any means necessary. He is such a scumbag, aren't you? We don't have a choice. Really, I don't, if I say I will do nothing more for you, it'll just go, well, that's, well, you know. Fine. I, can't, I won't do anything for you. Because he's, you know, their, po their political thing is going to go on and on. Basically, us taking out the Carter has got him a, a point almost in this game. But, uh, yeah, we've got to go look for her at least, I think is the idea. Then we will both go down in history as a Paragon saviors. So far, my men have traced Branca to Caradon's Cross, an ancient crossroad <coughs> lost to the Darkspawn four centuries ago. Her trail ends there. Perhaps with your warden's expertise, you can find what my men could not. Where is Caradon's Cross? You must enter the deep roads through the mines. To protect the city, that's the only path we leave open. Caradon's Cross lies many miles deep into the tunnels. It was once a main thoroughfare, <coughs> before Branca. No one had stepped foot there in generations. I'll leave right now to find out. You have my thanks. I'm not going to murder Seek her, her though. Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to murder her if she doesn't like Balin. I'll just come back and be like, whatever. I'm not going to murder the Dwarven Paragon. The Carter and Javia, yeah, they're, you know, they're bad people doing bad things. Uh... But, you know, he's such a scumbag, is Balin. Not that, like, Harrimont's necessarily any better. I, I, obviously, I didn't get to know him, and I can't... I can't remember who I've supported in previous playthroughs of this. But I think you are basically locked into supporting one or the other. Power. Robot Death Parrot. I'm not alarmed. I'm honoured. <laughs> you sure you let us ride? Well, I, I got follow bot the other day, Parrot. How you doing, sir? Let me get you a little shout out here and see what you're playing. How you doing, bro? Oh, Persona 5 Royal. Oh, my God. I hear... I've seen a little bit of it. I don't... I don't want to get too much for spoilers. Uh... The uh, overall gameplay and aesthetic of that game is astoundingly awesome. You're very hooked. Yeah, I think most people are. I don't think anyone plays Persona 5 and it's like, oh, All be aware this, this game's not very good. <laughs> uh, it's definitely on my list. Um, now, have you played any of the other Persona games, Parrot? Um, let me ask you that, buddy. Hush. Sorry, we're, we're walking through the door and sit at a minute and they're all just running their mouths. There's a lot going on here. Politics. Freaking politics, guys. Uh, but yes, welcome running in. Uh, everyone's coming with a uh, Paris raid there. My name is Isnib. You call me Is. Playing uh, Dragon Age Origins at the minute. And we do a bit of everything. We do a bit of everything. I won't give you the whole spiel. Got questions? Ask away. Um, 
before Golden, but you haven't been in it. So how does it compare? And the, the most importantly, Parrot, is what I'm getting at. Do you need to have played... They're kind of all standalone, right? I know they're all set in the same world, but you can kind of just play them in any order, right? Doesn't really matter too much. That's that's the impression I get. <clears throat> there Excuse you me. Are. I thought I'd today. spoken to a Grey Warden, but for some reason I chalked it up to the drink. Mm. I know you're down here to look for Bronca, and uh, I need to ask a favor. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's how you butt but someone up to ask for them for help. Why not? Everyone else does. You're Ogren, right? Yeah. Uh, you've been trying to get help to find Bronco, right? <coughs> I believe. Excellent, excellent, Parrot. That's cool. It's good to know. Right, okay, but not enough that it's going to, like, ruin the story or anything. You can just dive in. Um, perfect, perfect, Parrot. But anyway, gaming aside, how you doing, sir? Are you all right? I'm about to melt over here, I think, Parrot. In fact, I might... I might. I said I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to put the fan on because I am. Whew. I feel like I'm about to expire. Oh my god, that's so much better. Ugh. Um, yeah. So this is Ogren. He's we did meet him. And he's drunk, but we do know he's. He's looking for Bronca, which was his wife, I believe. I believe they were a couple at some point. Um, and uh, we're going to go look for her, so we might as well take him along, right? I, I have, for all the sodden good it's done. I like his beard. His I'm beard's the fantastic. only one who still cares about her as a person. Everyone else <clears> thinks <throat> she's just a symbol they can leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. Indeed. I know what Bronca wanted. And how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. Yeah, she's practically nothing. We pool our knowledge. We stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Um, uh, I don't know. Will you behave yourself? Don't I have enough armed lunatics following me already? No. How many armed lunatics do you want following you? Uh... In infinity. What? What a silly question is that? <laughs> I guess some people don't like armed lunatics being their supporters and retainers and helpers. Uh, <laughs> he's good. Yeah, I do like Ogwen. I don't remember him too much about him, but I've got a vague uh, gist of his personality. Lee. Yeah, come with us. It's an extra man. He's got fighting skills and he's got knowledge, most importantly. You should know that Bronco was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, oh. which was lost centuries ago. Okay. The smith Carradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Carradin's cross. No one's seen that tag for 500 years. Um. Because he loves her. He's in love with her, isn't he? It's his wife. Um. Let's get going. Great. Once we're there, I should be able to pick up Bronca's trail. No trouble. Lead on. There we go. Oh, great. Warrior, as one would expect. And it's got a, a, a great axe. Um, I think this is almost all of the uh, companions. I guess we'll just stick with what we've got. Uh, I didn't know who's going to like make us take Ogren with us. Um, uh, but it looks like he'll he'll you know he'll be there for cutscenes later on. Uh, so we just stick with our party, I feel. And, um... Got any level ups? I'll probably look at his uh, talents and things. Yeah, warrior berserker he is. 
that's a little berserk it does. Um, <coughs> uh, bonus to damage, penalty to stamina regen. Uh, and also you get a bonus to health regen as well. Uh, resilience, uh, focus the power of rage more effectively. Again, a bonus to health regeneration while Berserk is active. So it's a bonus to nature resistance that applies to, at all times. Okay. Uh, constraint. Uh, retain control during rages, reducing uh, Berserk's penalty to stamina regeneration. Yep. And final blow activated. Uh, ah. Oh. You put all of your stamina into a single hit. That's pretty wild. And yes, he's two two handed fighter. He's got most of the two handed abilities. Uh racial resistance though. Uh innate resistance to magic. One time in ten, a spin will have a spell will have utterly no effect. Eh. That's uh that's fine. Oh, I got a gist of him. Oh, okay, let's head into the deep roads then. Yeah, Legion Cage. How are you doing, sir? I think that's Caradin's Cross there. Oh, yeah, the tunnels look like they are. Uh... Aside from the danger, just kind of like exploring, um... you know, this, this, uh, this underground, the deep roads would be quite cool. Trying to, like, trying to, like, map it and, like, um, you know, clear it out and like you know re regain some of the city. What you know, one step at a time, systematically. Taking a break from your chores. Ah, uh, chores cage. Chores. Why are you doing those, buddy? Don't do those. Necessary evil. Oh, retro Johnny. Hey, there, there, bro. You get a little shout out. What, what were you playing, sir? How's it going, Johnny? You alright, mate? Boom. Guild Wars 2. Ah, interesting. All right there, Stitched. Welcome on in. Um, interesting. I've never played Guild Wars uh, 1 or 2, uh, Johnny, but uh, Guild Wars 2 is the is at the MMO, right? I've heard it's very good. It's probably, it's been around a few years now, hasn't it? Um, I guess, I guess it gets a little bit overlooked. Uh, it did get overlooked by, um, World of Warcraft, I guess, and then maybe more in more recent years, Final Fantasy fourteen. But um, no, of course, of course, you rage, getting a shout out. That's uh, that's how it goes. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, as I would guess from your name, sir. We got mixed up, haven't you? You, you definitely, yes, yeah, sir. You definitely do have to mix up. We do that here. I feel that I'm probably similar to you in this sort of regard, Johnny. We do, um, we do have a you know streak, a retro streak. And it was, where where do you draw the line of retro? Come on, Legion Cage, uh, video game scholar. Weigh in here, sir. Tell us what's what. Uh, like, is this Dragon Age Origins 2009? Is this retro? I don't think of this as retro when I think of the term retro, you know, gaming. But it's like, what? It's like 13 years old. So it's like, where do you, where do you draw that line? I don't know. But I'd say within that, I would say definitely we play more retro games. We do do a bit of modern here and there. That's the way to go, uh, isn't it? But um, yeah, thank you very much, uh, Johnny, for that raid. As a fellow streamer, if there's anything I'll do for you, buddy, just let me know. I'm, I'm at your disposal. 15 years. Ah, so the retro marker just constantly keeps moving, Cage. I see. Yo, Mike, how are you doing, sir? Are you all right? How's life treating you, bud? Um, oh, there's some nice emotes there, Johnny. I think it was. Ah, that's a, <laughs> that's a global one. What's that? What's that from? Is that is that from a thing? I don't know. Uh, oh, Hearthstone. Hearthstone cheers. Yeah, I thought that looked familiar. Not really played too much Hearthstone. But um, so fifteen years. So based upon that, Cage Dragon Age Origins is not retro, but it will be soon. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i'm pretty good i'm pretty good mike pretty good no no don't worry about it johnny um do yeah do your adult in your chores yeah 
but no thank you for the raid and thank you for the lurk sir greatly appreciated um and yeah i know what it's like you finish your stream you've got stuff to do i can't hang around you know i've got you know you gotta get food you've got to do this you've got to do that um but yeah thank you so much johnny i appreciate it but yeah you're doing all right are you mike um right okay let's so here we are caradin's cross we're here okay let's go stand forever guard the path darkness grows yet we hold indeed we do uh what was i want to say sorry read it again the darkest path is filled with sorrows yet i will stand the test indeed hired well, goons look what we have here some of Balin's new toadies man let's show them who's king all right you're harem on the sky <laughs> who are you elven mercenary she dead it Do you know what I'll say about this? The uh, the dwarfs and their dwarven politics. I, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, I'm a fan of it in the game, but like thinking of it in reality, I would not like these people. Not racist. I'd be like you and your nonsense bullshit, etc. Our Sorry. last talk. And? I would like the sister to explain to me the purpose of birds. Yep. Birds? What? kind of birds any kind the evil little demons that strafe the ground with their droppings what reason could your maker have for such things the yep. same he has for any evil such as the darkspawn if one were to equate the two i have a difficult time believing in any higher power that would inflict evil upon the world does it enjoy such jests perhaps there is a lesson to learn in it <laughs> not all lessons are easy shell Hmm. It's any wonder this maker has so many followers. I mean, birds. What was he thinking? No. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. Did he? So it must have been uh, not that long ago, Mike. Yeah, nice. Well, feel free to share it in Discord, buddy. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, of course, because it's something you uh, feel strongly about. Yeah, he wasn't old, was he? He was only like, what, 60, 61 years old? He died while snorkeling. Which sounds a bit, not sus, but it's just... What what happens, do you know what I mean? Snorkeling's fairly innocuous, you'd think. Um, you're fat. You're not that fat, Seven. I, you know, you only... Everyone feels fat. I feel fat. I mean, because I, I am technically. You know, if you can grab a bit of, a bit of, f you know, a bit of flab there, you've got a bit of handle on the side. You know what I'm saying? And that's fat, but you know, you need fat to live. Um, yeah. <laughs> Freedom units. <laughs> oh, uh, right. So we're going this way first. I'm not sure. It looks like it might be a dead end. Or not. Okay, that's further in. Let's try this way first. Are there enemies of some kind ahead? Dark spawn. <laughs> Go, go and disarm it then. It's, it's a trap. I'm just going to stare at it.
<clears throat> yeah, Cage is laughing because he was like, oh, this is the land of the free. I didn't realise that. No, nobody told me. <laughs> Dark spawn have sensed us. Have I? Trying to pick up the treasurer. That's all. I saw a little shiny there. Okay. Just looking at their little fire pit there. Get some XP. Uh, that's fine. Moving onwards. Where are we at? Alright, okay. Yeah, we I think we're all there, seven. I think in this is my opinion, we're all different, everyone's different, everything is different. <sighs> Having the desire to be healthier than you are is whether you do anything about it or you know what if or what if you don't do too much about it and you just try and you're just thinking on it and you're aware of it infinitely better than those people who don't give it a second thought they just you know pump crap be it food or drugs or whatever chemicals into their body uh and then they're just like don't even think about it they're like, oh why do i feel like crap they, they, they don't you know, they, they don't even attempt to add one and one together to get two. They're just like, there's no, you don't need to think about it. Um, yeah, breathing and tying your shoes at the same time. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Breathing is, I think, is like the most underrated, uh, taken for granted luxury and awesome thing that we get to do. Yeah, breathing. Oh, 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 that's nice. Oxygen. Oh, lovely oxygen. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, definitely think on it, Seven. Um, and yeah, you don't look that bad. You know? I've not seen too many pictures of you, but uh, the pictures I have seen, you look fine. Look there. A cunning trap. It's a trap. And when look I say there. fine, trap. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, the cunning traps. Always with the cunning, cunning traps. Alright, let's uh, get these uh, dark spawn that have appeared behind us. There we go. They thought they were being clever. They weren't. Does it? It's been a long time since I've uh, played Bioshock Infinite. That's like one of the few games I got on release. Just because of how much I love Bioshock 1 and 2. And I thought it was like so incredibly amazing when I, f I first got my hands on it. And it is. Get an excellent game. Um, and I guess we'll... Uh, Probably play it at some point, honestly. Oh, oh, 
we got a big boy. Oh wow. I'm surprised you could stun that ogre. God, my backstab damage is so incredibly chunky at the minute. Um... Ah, yeah, there you go. I know what will make you appreciate life. Almost dying. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's seven. It's for it's on the list. Uh, the series is on the list. Uh, it depends if the producers uh, vote on it or not, basically. I, can't, I don't want to say if they have or not. You know, the internal voting system and the internal list state you know that's information privy only to the producers uh, but it's on there i'd like to cover it when we do or not that's up to them um uh but yeah no i i do um the uh, yeah the, the the trilogy is superb in my opinion right morrigan what were you what were you doing with you my dear uh i don't know you need anything in particular so i'm going to give you a couple of points of magic and a point of willpower I think. Right, okay. So we've got a heals maxed out. What do we... What uh, What do we want to do? Maybe just save up for flaming weapons. We've got ice weapons, but I guess it doesn't... It's not the same damage. It's just different element. Uh... Hmm... Spell shield. That could be a uh, good, maybe. Hostile spells targeted at the caster. Seventy-five percent chance to be completely nullified. That's pretty freaking amazing. Death siphon. That's pretty nice. That could work very well. Telekinetic weapons. That's pretty freaking amazing. Decisions, decisions, eh? What to go for? So I like the um, I like the idea of the uh, spell shield. I like the idea of the death siphon, the telekinetic weapons, uh, and uh, that death magic is pretty good as well. So we'll go, we'll, I'll buy the walking bomb, which I'm not sure how I feel about. But right, injects a target with corrosive poison. It does nature damage. If the target dies while the effect is still active, it explodes, damaging near right enemies. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of cool. But we're just going to do it to save up and get the uh, death siphon next time she levels. Um, when it used to work, uh, a couple of weeks ago, that's that, so that was before we had any producers, uh, Seven. Um, I just did it, like, randomly on stream. And that's how we got... Uh, that's how we played Link's Awakening and Rayman Legends. At that point, I had a couple of people p sign up as producers on the Patreon and then you know the hook is because it's not cheap the hook is those people who do want to support at that level get to run the show basically which is exactly why we uh have, you know we played dragon age origins what did we have and uh, yes uh, final fantasy mystic quest they were not my choices that was that was their choices uh, and i know roughly what we've got coming up next um um yeah, exactly, exactly, Seven, you know, because, you know, I've not, I'm very happy for anyone to be here for any, you know, just you know, dropping a lurk or just saying hello five minutes, it it means the world to me that people would even think to play this on today. But for those few people who are like, yo, is I, I believe in you and like you enough 
that here you go i'm gonna give you a 15 dollars a month that's like a big deal so the the uh what i'm gonna give back to those people is they essentially run the show you know i'm not gonna play a game that i have no interest in um this, this is everything that's just taken from my list but i'm willing to experiment um but they between them get to literally vote on the list and they get one or two votes depending on the tier per month and then those votes stay there forever uh, until that particular game is played and then you know um so you know i just uh i just want to honor that obviously if we got to a point where um they decided they didn't want to do that anymore and then we'd already covered everything that had previously been voted on then we would go back to the old let the viewers decide kind of thing but we'll just put it this way we've got um how many how many games we've got votes for at the minute let me check uh yeah we've got four different games that have votes on them for at very uh, different levels of uh you know of vote at least one vote should we say some have more um obviously the amount of votes determines the pecking order uh and all four of the games are fairly long so, <laughs> so it would even if uh all, all three of our producers were like yeah I've, you know sorry is I'm, i've had enough or can't i can't be paying for this anymore that's which is perfectly fine i hope they do decide to do that in a way well i don't but i mean <laughs> i hope for what, I, what i'm saying is i hope they choose to do whatever is best for them not for me for them um so even if they all un you know, you know cancelled it tomorrow we've still got four very chunky games for us to get through so <laughs> shriek a little shriek popping out of nowhere uh, more than a few oh my god where did they come from i guess that's the point isn't it Yeah, they just kind of appear out of nowhere. But they're called enemies. Right, anyway. Okay, so yeah, we checked around there. That's where the ogre was. La very large pool of blood. Here we go. Well, they, well, they left us money and money. Let's have a little look in this direction. But yeah, we're never going to be doing anything that I specifically have no interest in. Or at least want to experiment with. And even the experiment games are... Um, I will commit to giving them a fair shake, but I don't commit to completing. You know, a game like this, I'm going to... I want to complete it. I want to get to the, the end of the game and do, like, as much as we possibly can. But, um, you know, I guess it all depends, doesn't it? It kind of helps me in a way, because it's not like I've not got to... Um, Oh, what was over there? We probably want to check what's over there, don't we? If we head back in the deep roads. <laughs> uh, you know, so rather than me umming and ahhing about what we should do next, I don't have to think about it. I'll just do what I'm told, basically. Oh, another raid! Error! How you doing, my dear? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let me get a little shout-out. Uh... That's a, that's a third raid we've had of the stream in quick succession as well. No. Yeah, hang on. Yes, third raid. Sorry, I can't count then. <laughs> um, here we go. Yeah, that's uh, that's from Streets of Rage. Rune Factory. Yeah, I remember you playing that. How's it going? Is it going good? It's uh, it's like one of those games where it's like... um, You could probably play it for like 200 hours or more, can't you? Is it good though? I ain't doing error. You're white. Right. I hope you're right, my dear. Thank you for choosing to raid a uh, little old me again. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, Kitty. Uh, Kitty's uh, changed their name now uh, to... I don't know if they're streaming at the minute. Uh, Yanksia. So keep an eye out for Yanksia. Uh, and Metapods played it a lot. They're uh, they're quite obsessed with it. Um, yeah, all good. That's what I've heard. It's a lot of, um, you know, crafting and gathering and, you know, there's like... Uh, you know npcs and storylines and just fighting in it as well all very awesome um collecting some stuff yeah uh yeah that's the 
that's the beauty of those games, isn't it, Arrow? It's where, uh, you know, you can take your time. You, you know, you're like, oh, here's the main quest. Go speak to this guy or fight that guy. And you're like, yeah, no, um, no. I'm going to go go do a bunch of other stuff first. I'm going to go chop down some trees. I'm going to go mining. I'm going to go swing my sword around, you know. Uh, so, yeah, respect. Thank you. Three raids. We've had a, uh, a bit of, not a, sk a skewed uh, stream today. Um, I had to start much later because I had some work to take care of. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to have a, a chill, short stream. You're the third raid. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but if you, yeah, Aero, if you need to run off because it's late and you want to sort some food out or anything, you go do that, my dear. But yes, thank you so much for thinking, little old me. I appreciate it. But anyway, yes, uh, we were playing Dragon Age Origins, which is, uh, if you know it, you know it. If you don't, how do I explain? It's um, Western uh rpg very dungeons and dragons-esque i would say that's probably the best way to explain it but um yeah welcome on everyone uh let me work out where we're going i've got some enemies up here so i think maybe if we head this way it might link up there there's only one way of uh of knowing isn't there and i guess that is a well that there is at least one exit to this uh zone so it looks like the, that's how the uh deep roads is split up um it's different much like in most areas in the game like uh denarim for example the capital you've got different areas and you've got the overall map the underground there uh so we've already that's what that's the city that's where we've just been that's where we are so if we exit there it's probably going to open up another location um but obviously i want to try and clear out the you know 100 percent of the location kill all the enemies find all the treasure before we move on let's do that first um Yeah, basically. <laughs> Thank you, Seven, for the uh, the summation of the synopsis there. Um, yeah, be a good guy and fight the bad guys. But it does give you a lot of flexibility in how about how you do it. Oh, that's some Bronto up in it. Oh, we killed it. It's dead. It. All right, so that Bronto was buddies with the uh, the Dark Spawn. I don't know how I feel about that. He paid the ultimate price though, didn't he? So it is what it is, isn't it? Um there, more of the fiends ahead. Yes, more of the fiends. Indeed. They're gonna get deaded though. So I'm not too concerned. Right, let's get after him. Chasing them. Oh, they ran away. Are they set they're leading us into a trap, maybe? And so be it, but I feel like we can't just uh, ignore them, can we? All right. That's all it is, then. It is begun. Dead it. Dead it them all. Excellent. All right. It's, uh, it's weird they ran off. We took. We would have thought they'd have more of an ambush than that, but not for me to say. Task is finished. Oh, what's that? A new weapon, Topsiders Honor. Oh, it's a weapon. I need to pay more attention when I'm picking up items, don't I? I don't see it. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, Topsiders Hilt. The hilt of a fine elven sword. Uh, a partial inscription glows faintly in the presence of Lyrium, but remains unreadable. So I'm reckoning we need to uh, find pieces of this sword. And then we can maybe get someone to stick it back together for us. <laughs> exactly seven except i can't say exactly i've so seven i've never actually played uh mass effect that's also on the list uh but i do understand it is basically sci-fi uh dragon age or technically dragon age is fantasy mass effect 
the same principle uh, of type of game, to my understanding at least. Um, right, let's um, okay. Let's keep going this way. I think there might be a, a bit of treasure we missed back there with the uh, the enemies we killed, but we can get out on the way back. But yeah, I hear the Mass Effect trilogy is uh, fantastic and definitely uh, oh needs to be uh, explored at some point. Oof. Oof. Stuck around a bit, eh? Yeah, big boy. There we go, we got him. There we go. Got Alpha. Alpha Ogre. Yeah, he was a uh, chunky boy. He's not dropped anything, though. Wow. How stingy. How very stingy. <laughs> right, the systems are vastly different. Okay. Oh, do you get a lot of people equating it, being like, oh, Mass Effect is like Star Wars. And you're like, no. No, it's not. It's its own thing. Interesting. Yeah. So it's like it's only like morality system where it, oh it did drop something. Okay. Whereas in in this is like everything's a bit more amb ambiguous. The only thing that really matters is um your relationship with your companions, doesn't it? Everything else, you know, you can you, there's no like morality uh tracker uh, so to speak. Um But yeah, I've, I've heard a little bit about it. So you can go pa straight Paragon or Renegade. Well, generally, much like I play this game and any games like that, I'm not about kissing people's asses and doing stuff for free. Just go, it's the right thing to do. Um, <laughs> but I'm not straight out evil mercenary either. I'm just trying, I, I guess it's weird, but I'm just trying to, um, in a way, pretend like what you know if this was really me if it was isnib who was there in this situation what would i do you know not me me but if i was the character with these powers and abilities and knowledge and etc but what what do i think is the right thing to do and I'll just go with that usually it's very middle of the road and boring i guess that sums up me doesn't it <laughs> uh i don't really do the save right here but we'll do it anyway uh <laughs> Right, okay, and there's another exit to the deep roads there. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter which one we take. Or maybe it does. We'll find that out in a minute. Like I say, we're almost finished, uh, finished exploring this section. Right, so somewhere around there, that exit, there could very well be some treasure we missed. Right, there's this uh, tunnel there. For what? For which? It says that my reason for learning more of shape changing was not good enough. What reason would be? <laughs> I do not know. Tell me what it is and I shall decide. It could simply decide any reason was insufficient then. You find that maddening, do you? Yeah. It has a bird-like nature to its sadism. I'll give it that. Yeah. Good. Let us leave it that way. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, a glass phylactery. Interesting. So we've come across a few of these. If you take them, or try to, they um, they, they are destroyed and then a revenant appears and then... I don't, I don't know what they're all about, but... um, We'll, we'll fight this one then, if it's going to do the same. It is. Interesting. <laughs> Another battle, you see. Is that right, Morrigan? 
And you can't backstab these fellas for some reason. Are you enjoying that with your shale? Wow, interesting. Okay, yeah, so that's not the gist of it. It's kind of, from my understanding, it's very similar in a way to um, Dragon Ages. It's like some big, bad, mon you know, a bad thing, and it's on you to deal with it. Uh, here's the Darkspawn, the Blight, and it's something called the Reapers, isn't it? If I understand correctly, in uh, in Mass Effect. Um, so he's trying to do the same thing, which is save people. But like you say, Paragon's doing it in you know, lawful, good, moral way, and, um, you know, Renegade is saving people regardless. You know, so you've got to punch someone in the face to save someone. I guess maybe even to the point where, you know, if you have to murder someone or let someone die to save two people, that's plus one, so do that. Um, you know, oh, if you can let a million people die over here, but you save a million and one people over there, there you go, plus one, do it. <laughs> um. I don't know if that is just, it's as uh, simple as that, but. Um, Paragon Ella, Ella Hen, does that say? Elahen died to lay these stones. Well, those who return to Orzammar embrace be sheltered. Yeah, indeed. Oh, hello. Oh. Is he with a level up? around a bit. The shale really does enjoy fighting and killing. <laughs> like, like, really, really enjoy. <laughs> um... Okay, well, now I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, have you played all the trilogy uh, of Seven? I've heard some people say that um, the third one is the best, and I've heard some people say the second one is actually the best. Um, for what reasons, I do not know. Um, I've also... Uh, okay, so that's going to link up there, so we'll go through there in a second. Let's just clear out all this treasure around here. Um... And, and how does Andromeda compare? I've heard some people say Andromeda is jank mess, and other people say, oh, actually, it's really good. Um, is that everything? I think we've got everything. Yeah, okay, let me just run this way briefly and see if, uh... So we fought, we fought a couple of darks and then we were still, like, in combat mode, trying to chase after some others. Oh, is it? It is. We want to XP, though. We've got a couple of level ups, so let's uh, do these. Right, Izzy, um, what are we doing with you? Or strength, maybe. Or damage, isn't it? So, I want to get some constitution. I can't remember, we're still rocking the 10 constitution. <laughs> um, let's try and get a strength, a couple more levels of that. 
Right, choices. I think we want to go that, don't we? Stamina restoration anytime we kill someone with a backstab. Hmm. Wouldn't be terrible. I think I might uh, get that evasion. One in five chance of avoiding any physical attack. Including being stunned or knocked down. I mean, stunned or knocked down a few times recently, so... Go for that. Uh, right, Lel. Maybe... Cunning. So that makes you a... Uh, that makes her a buff... Uh, a song better, doesn't it? I guess we want to go for some measure of balance, though. Uh, so I guess for now I'll leave it on 25. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Master Ranger. Summon stronger companions. Significantly more powerful in, in combat than a normal counterpart. So there we go. And we're gonna have a master spider. Excellent. I guess you'll have to uh, wait for that one to die or despawn before she can get her uh, master spider. Sing praises to the stone. May her arms be ever open to us. Okay. Sure. Oh, okay. Maybe there wasn't any treasure. Right, let's have a look around. Might be in that way. All right, so we need to get down there or up there. Uh, what would be quickest? Yeah, probably we're already here so if we head here go back to that big ca cavern with the bridge where we started the area go back to the beginning and we'll head in the other direction okay interesting interesting seven right okay so Andromeda is hated just because it's different, and but uh, gameplay-wise, it's exactly the same as three. Right. Okay. So Mass Effect One is a product of its time, which uh, sometimes can be a good thing, or maybe not so much a good thing. Okay. But it's it sounds like it won't really bother me, so I can get on with anything, you know. And that's the thing, because obviously it's a, an overarching story. If we were to dive into Mass Effect, we would Mass Effect, we would have to start with the first one. I think it's. We were talking with uh, Luna uh, the other the other day about how. Uh, they're not bothered by playing uh, Inquisition before this. There's 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 a chronological order uh, for the Dragon Age games, and that's the order it takes place. But the um, the characters and the main thrust of the story of each one are different each time, so it kind of doesn't matter in a way. Whereas if I understand correctly, in Mass Effect, you've got the same main character throughout the trilogy, and each game directly follows on from the previous game. So you really. You, if you play them out of order, you're spoiling the, the story for yourself. Right, interesting, interesting, Seven. So based on that, that's that's why some people might feel that two is the best, and some people would feel that three is the best. But there's probably no one who's saying the first one's the best, unfortunately. <laughs> This little deep stalker, I can't keep up with it. It's leading us into a trap, I guess. Not much of one. Oh, 
poor little things. Oh, head in a bag. Head in a bag. Okay, well, I mean, um... Okay, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Indeed. Just feel bad for them. Ah, okay, there we go. That's where that links up. Let's just make sure there's not a tennis little corridor. From it's probably not. Ah, okay, so you they maybe they stripped down number three a bit too much. Yeah, yeah, but in terms of the narrative. Okay, that makes... I'm not against it. Whatever, you can overcomplicate games. I know some people want as much uh, depth and, um, you know, intricacy and nuance as possible, but you can take it too far. Oh, I don't know. God, I'm going to wrap this up soon. My God. So, yeah, it feels like a, a fraction of time, a small pittance of time that we have streamed today, folks. But uh, my belly is telling me it's exactly the right time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, uh, right, there we go. Okay. Well, there we go. That's it. The Caradine's cross. We've completely cleared it out. Uh, no. There's a tunnel there, which didn't link up there. I thought it was going to. Right, so we want to head down to the left. That's the only problem with shale. It's constantly stomp, 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 stomp. Um, which is, you know, not a problem for me personally, but... <laughs> uh, no, that's on actual crunch time, uh, Garuda. Yeah, I didn't... I, th I feel, honestly, and this is not getting on the bandwagon or being a hate or anything, I honestly feel that of every single uh, Final Fantasy game we've played on this channel, Lightning Returns is my least favourite. And it's funny because I feel that the the core of what they are trying to achieve with the game in terms of gameplay is a, actually a good idea. I actually like the idea of it. That, you know, you've been on a time limit and it's kind of like um, roguelike in the way that, you know, or like, um, or like Majora's Mask or something. It's like you, you're on a time limit and you make progress and then your time runs out and you're forced to start at the back, back at the beginning, and then some elements uh, have returned to as they were at the start of the game. But the progress you made in various forms is still there. I actually really like that idea as a concept. I just feel it was not implemented very well in Lightning Returns, and it was consequently not much of a fun game. Where's your, where's your cone trap? On the other side?
<laughs> I love that Morgan, uh, Morgan's like, um, it's your time to die. She says that to a lone deep stalker. <laughs> there we go, that's where it was. What would you like? That's cool. Yeah, I'm not against that. A torso in a bag. I guess we're, cl we're collecting these, aren't we? New quest. Asunder. Ooh, okay. Right, you found the grisly remains of some kind of fade beast. One that may have intentionally dismembered itself. Big pun. Comparing the notes suggests that the carving was done in the deep roads near Caradin's Cross. We set us at marker. I don't know if we're uh, going to appear. But yeah, we've, so we found the head and the torso, and I think maybe some other parts, but. No, nothing's uh, popping up at the minute. And it said near Caradin's Cross. That suggests it's not actually at Caradin's Cross. It's going to be a different area. Another fight? Can you believe it? Such a thing? There they go. Turned the correct direction. <laughs> Some genius like that. That's how, that's how I roll. Oh, you're gonna seriously make me fight what's up there before I can uh, Very well. check that little rock there? Oh my god, do we? Oh wow! Come on, guys! What the hell? Stuff me in a corner. Kind of stuff myself in a corner. Deep stalker leader. Wow. Oh. Oh wow. Anymore. Oh look, this is their nest. Oh, I kind of feel bad for them now. Not not too bad, but it is your time to die, Deep Stalker. <laughs> Squish. Uh, shale. <laughs> They might be a uh, giggle. Be careful now. Oh my god. Never ending. Oh. Deep stalker matriarch. Oh, chonky. But, uh,. Backstabs for the win. Didn't drop anything? It did. I watched a lot of humans not in my time. Not talking to Shale. It should be aware that I have decided that it is not much like any of them. This is true. Uh, but I am human. That's super. Thanks, Shale. That could be good or bad. Indeed. Good. Course, it doesn't want to have anything in common with all those other filthy substandard human types, does it? Yeah. Surely it must come from some superior lineage, yes? Yeah, it's not for me to say. flesh creature that has decided to elevate its genetic stock above its natural shortcomings. Uh, my father was a turn of high, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, 
It's a backhanded compliment like that. I don't know where you're going with this. It's taking as a compliment. Nonsense. It can imagine my surprise discovering such a thing was possible from a creature so soft. But there it is. I would appreciate if it didn't spread around that I said anything. Humans might start to get the wrong idea. They might start thinking their race is not completely hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it to myself. Thanks for the vote, of course. And we wouldn't want that. Indeed. <laughs> Can it imagine the horror? <laughs> now, let us brush something into a fine paste <coughs> before it starts to think I've gone all soft. Perish the thought. Lol. Shale. Not nice nice uh, conversation there for uh, for an accident. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being soft. It's definitely advantages to being hard. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> moving on. Uh, but um, yeah, Shale. Let's not be a. Uh, let's not be um. Let's not be densityist now. You know, we everyone's treated equally around here, regardless of your, your density or chosen density. Right. Um. Oh, there we go. Little again, lock there. <laughs> I can't help myself. Seven. These things happen. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a there's a thing there. Drifter's cash. Mm, okay, I better go check that before we leave. So I don't know if this is related to this uh, these body parts we found. Maybe it is. Maybe it's something else. Let's go check either way. I think this is just treasure. I don't know why it's um suddenly marked, but uh let's see just in case. Oh <gasps> What Oh sorry, I thought that was something else. I was um There's a different thorn, that's the crazy dagger we're saving up for, but it was this. Uh, okay, it's a nice dagger. It's not what we uh I need to be getting excited about though. Although, yeah, oh, actually, the, um, the, uh, the base stats are slightly better than Duncan's dagger. But, it's, uh, overall, Duncan's is, uh, better, I feel. Um, dwarf and heavy gloves. Mm. Ooh, efforts gloves. Who's eff effort? <laughs> uh, and nobody can really wear them. Oh, Ring of the Warrior. <gasps> plus two strength, plus two dex. Well done. Well. Now, let's compare our rings. Yeah, let's get rid of that crappy willpower ring. No crappy, plus one willpower is nice, but, uh, you know, it's also like whatever. Oh, is that mage only? How about that one? Yeah, okay, let's, uh... I guess we'll give that to Lel, just in case she's, uh... Got ice arrows or something. Better than nothing. You don't come across too many, uh, magic rings in the game. Do you know what I mean? I've still got uh, empty slots. Now, I've got my... not gone out of my way to buy any, of course, but... Right, okay, so that's complete, something completely different. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to... Uh, I guess we'll go to that exit there. I don't think it matters which of these two. You know, you can, I guess you can take either of the exits. I think they go to different places. I think they would open up the same air, like new area on the map. We will soon find out. 25 minutes, folks. I guess we'll make the most of it. Um, 
yeah, I will, I will definitely stream tomorrow. I just, like I say, I might be, um, it might be like a late, it might be like similar to what we've, uh, done today. Autumn Tide. Okay, cool. I think this is roughly where it's supposed to be heading, isn't it? So who knows, maybe if I had, um, gone out the western direction, there would have been another location in, over in that way. But, um, let's press on for now, clear out this area, and, uh, just follow any leads we find here, and then we'll, uh, if we come to a dead end, we should uh, backtrack if needs be. Ooh. Ah, Altar of Sundering. Uh, Lost in the Memories quest. Uh, a Mother's Hope quest. And, ah, Bronca's Journal. <laughs> it's funny that it puts the quest markers on here, even though we have no idea. Okay, so there's a lot of things to do here, including the main quest, seemingly. Birds so much. It is because they I have to endure their chirping, their perching, and most especially their constant sh No, I yep. understand that part, but they were just being what they are. Exactly. Disgusting vermin with wings. Darkspawn must be exterminated for being what they are as well. But a bird is a creature of grace and beauty. They open their mouth and they sing. The bard hears music. I hear a wail of banshees that yeah. But what about a nightingale or a swan? A shale cares no, not. <laughs> Still, evil beasts of the sky. <laughs> do, do now. Alright, okay. Someone's been through here smashing some uh, dark spawn by the looks of it. You need to uh, pull out your new spider, don't you, Lel? Oh, is it on a cooldown? What's that? It died, did it? Down really slow. Does every creature have a death wish? Yes. Ah. All the ones around here do. Got ah. withered. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, it looks different. A different type of spider. Poisonous spider. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Pet it. I would, if I was in the party and that was like our uh, ranger's pet or druid's pet or whatever, I wouldn't. I would, there's no way I could get used to that. Just wandering around, honestly. Oh, so we've got um, we've got an ogre fighting the spiders. Okay. Dark spawn over here. Fun to kill the dark spawn first, honestly. Well, I'm actually going to just kill whatever uh, comes near us. So this is uh, 
the realm of the spiders that um, seemingly um, the Darkspawn have stumbled into. Have a little look in this direction. Alright, Warrior's Grave, eh? Update the codex. That's fine. Oh, wait. There's still a uh, little rock going on. I shall see it. Time to end. It's over. I think they were fighting for a hot minute, weren't they? Seemed like it. Never mind. I love that the spider's carrying some money on it. Hey, hey, doing there, Spider McSpider. Oh yeah, I'm not too bad. I've got ten, got ten silver in my pocket. <laughs> oh, that one had ninety-one silver. What the freaking hell? That's a bit wild. Oh, that one has a one and a half gold on it. Wow. Crazy. And wildness, anyway. <laughs> Spirits? Indignant spirits, eh? Thank God if you can stab them. That's always handy. And stun them also. Oh, a golem who's not a shale. And you can't backstab them, which, you know, kind of makes sense. Wow, okay. I see. Okay, and that's just uh, where we came from. See, so that is it. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Jeez, you can scratch there, Morgan. What now? Excuse me. Who are you, Rock? There's nothing for you here. It's mine. I've claimed it. Oh. Who is this guy? We're not looking for this guy. And how do you pose to eject me? Who are you? What are you doing down here? Claimed it. Are you part of the clan I lived here? Who are you? What are you doing down here? You've come to take my claim. You surfaces are all alike. Thieving scoundrels. My 
Well, I found it first. Be gone, you. You'll bring the dark ones back, you will. And crunch your bones. No, they won't. It's my claim, not yours. Crunch your bones. But where do you see? Uh oh, is he, is he alright? He seems to be having some issues. I think he's been, he's been trapped down here for too long. I think that's the idea. I don't know what he uh, was looking at, but he got he found, found some treasure or something. He was like, "That's mine," and we're like, "We're not into a fight, buddy." But also, um, yeah, Martha's Hope. This is the guy who's been down here five years, and I think his mum sent us after him. He's gonna find him. She's like, "He's probably dead. Go look for him." I was like, eh. "He just made a little home down here." He's doing all right, all things considered. This is mine. Only I get to plunder its riches. Its riches? That's a laugh. I don't even know what he's looking at. Uh, I just want to talk to you. No, no talking. You leave my territory. Do you want to say, or I will kill you? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm not here to steal anything, I promise. Uh, what's this camp here? I'm putting you out of misery. Kill him. Uh, <laughs> pretty hair smells like the steam of burning water blue as the deepest rock uh, as a compliment pretty lady won't take anything from rock y you won't take rocks shiny worms and pretty rocks or not uh if it's valuable i might trade you for it uh pretty rocks do you mean gems are the gems here just come a little closer shank um, I'm just here to talk. Oh, Rock, not my nap, lady. No. Um, and so your name is Rock. Rock, not pretty name, not pretty like lady. Rock is small and ugly and twisted. Um, I think I met your mother. Is her name Filda? No, 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 no Filda, no mother, no warm blanket and stew and pillow and stop work. Rock doesn't deserve good memories. No, 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 no! Why don't you deserve good memories? What have you done? Um. Well, I've got to press the issue. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Let's just tell him. At least we can say we met him and pass along the message. Then, if he doesn't want to come back, we're not going to make him. Uh. Your mother misses you. She asked me to find you. She did not know. Not what I did. Very, very, very angry, and, and then someone was dead, and they wanted to send Ruck to the mines. Oh, he killed I someone. To the mines. She, she would know. Everyone would know. So I came here and said, once you eat, once you take in the darkness, you not miss the light so much. Okay. You know, do you not? Ruck sees. <laughs> yes. He sees the darkness inside you. Oh, is this guy technically a Grey Warden? He's... He's eaten some darkspawn. Um, I'm nothing like you. You disgust me. Uh, that is a frightening thought. Um, I'm a Grey Warden. It's not the same. You have to tell your mother you're alive. He, he doesn't. You can do it your life. Um. Grey like the stone, guiding against the darkness. Beautiful like waterfalls under the lichen. Whatever, mate. Uh, <laughs> How did you survive here? When the Dark Ones were here, I kept to the shadows. They don't look in the shadows. Not if you're quiet. Not if you eat their flesh. Then Yummy. The think you're one of them. They leave you alone. <laughs> but now they're gone. Do you know where the Dark Ones if went? They went south, pretty lady. Far, far to the south. 
this way, the Dark Master calls them with his beautiful voice. Yeah. <laughs> so much joy when he awoke. Yeah, the Archdemon. After the Dark Master awoke, he called his children and they all went and wanted to go too and gaze upon his beauty. Wow. Ooh. Where's the Dark Master now? Do you know? He stopped calling. I wish hmm. I could go see him, but Ruck, no, no, Ruck, Ruck is a coward. Um, there's still giant spiders here. The crawlers, they used to eat the smallest dark ones. Now the crawlers go hungry. Uh, when did you arrive here? Five Too years long ago. Long ago, I must think. Five years, six. Ruck no longer remembers the smells and sights of the city. Uh, I need to ask you something else. I, I will yeah. answer your question. Try and butter him up. Anything you wish. Oh, they might like it. Uh, did you find anything unusual bits about this things, camp? But only bits. The crawlers. They took almost everything. They, they take things of steel and things of paper. They take the shinies and the words. They bring really? to the great nest the nest they make for the eggs. They put the shinies inside they do. But the spiders like picking up money to put in their nest. This is what you're telling me, Ruck. <laughs> do you have anything to trade? Ruck has some things uh, from the camp. Sometimes the webs you give him shiny coins, no? Maybe. Oh, he got loads of stuff. Oh, look at that. A flawless. Ooh, so we've got so that's the next tier up of um crystal. So yeah, a little bit more damage, crit chance, armor penetration. Um the, the the extra stats are down, but 36 gold. Mm. I think we'll leave that. But um, I can sell him. I can just take his money. Send, sell him this crap, can't I? I could save that for Severin. Armor of the Divine Will. Wow. Spell resist and uh, oh, restriction Templar. Fifty-seven gold, mate. Yeah, good luck selling that down here. <laughs> Destructionist spell. Right, okay, pretty nice mage belt. Or whatever. Um, ooh. Oh, plus 10 versus undead. Oh, that's the thing, you're not fighting undead that often. Watch this, H, silver symbol. Who knows? I'll buy it as it's cheap. There we go. So I'm not going to say to him, you have to go and tell see your mum. Not my place to say. I will s tell his mum that we uh, found him, though. Ah, top size is pommel. Nice, right, so that's not stealing from him. That's the hilt and the pommel. I guess we need to find the rest of the blade, don't we? Oh, right, it was nice to meet you, Ruck. Take care, young man. Ah, okay. Alton Records. Uh, ancient registry is preserved in sign of wax. It charts births, marriages, and deaths within the house Alton. The most recent date is 400 years old. Okay, we had a, a side quest for that. Let's have a little look down here. Don't look now, but more enemies are ahead. Yeah, I'll see him. I do see him.
slapped around him. Oh, yeah, yeah, just the big boy. Oh, they got it. They got him. Good job, folks. Ah, the Altar of Sundering. So I assume this is going to spawn some freaky, uh, monsterino for us to fight. Oh, wow. All the uh, fire arrows. Just, uh, get with that golem dropped. Money! Okay, it looks like we've got these two bridges to go across. Right, well, uh, we'll do this, if this is a fight, we'll see if it's a fight. We'll do this little fight and then we'll just probably save it here. This is a pretty good place. Cleared out this side and then we've got to just head over there. And uh, we'll find Bronca's journal, apparently. Which is, uh, I'll give you a little bit spoilery, but that's fine. A little save just in case this is uh tough I've, i'm feeling pretty um for the past little while at least since all the time i've been in awesome R, i felt like we can handle pretty much anything that's thrown at us maybe before after we've done an awesome R and we've um before we go to the majors the circle of the magi we uh maybe go back to um haven and go to uh you know and see that high dragon and try and fight it again uh place the body parts on the altar you have oh. restored that which was cut asunder and a scary looking fellow my hiding place speak your intention seek you vengeance reward you are free creature reward me He's a spirit, though, isn't he? I think he's like a not rage spirit. Um, I don't know what kind of spirit, but um, demons and spirits. We don't. We've learnt this already. You don't trust them. I mean, he probably wouldn't pop up again. It's pointless us trying to kill Darkspawn and then letting this guy go free. <laughs> Just saying. Um, whatever reward he's got, unless it's like a magical blessing, we'll just take from him anyway. No deals with spirits. I'll destroy you for good. Was convenience, not cowardice. I'll fight you want. He's gonna be tough. I'll fight you shall have. All right, buddy. The fade beast. Oh. <gasps> oh no. My Xbox 360 has literally just crashed. Like hard crashed. He won't even bring out the menu. Okay, that's fine. Well, I saved just before, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. The Fade Beast was just too much. He was just far too much for my Xbox 360 to handle. <laughs> so be it. There you go. I guess we'll leave... Oh, damn. Oh, I almost lost uh, connection here. But uh, internet connection shouldn't have any... Oh, back anyway. Weird. Very weird. Yeah. We'll leave it there, Seven. There's no point in uh, at this juncture turning off the Xbox to load it off again to get back into the game just to do that one fight. Uh, he looks like a chonky boy. I bet he's going to drop something good anyway. I just mo morally, it just seems um, he seems hypo hypo hypocritical. Um, if they were like, oh, we must destroy the Darkspawn because they're evil and uh, trying to mess around the world, um, and. Uh, and then we're just making deals with demons and letting them run free. So it kind of seems uh, counterproductive. Uh, yes, Luna. Yeah, I'm playing it on 360. Uh, that's just the version of the game I have. Um, I know you've got backwards compatibility for a lot of games, haven't you? 360 games. I could just whack it in my Xbox One and then it does its thing. Um, yeah, we will. We'll kill Chonky Boy tomorrow, Luna. We, we definitely will. <laughs> um... Good, a good picture of him there as he stood there. But yeah, you see what I'm saying? And I bet he dropped something good anyway. Um, but yeah, it would be silly to turn off the console, turn it all back on, 
get load it up get into the game load the, the game just to fight him again there so you know it's just uh that's enough and and my theory Luna, is kind of like if it's like you know all every time you use an electronic equipment is uh it's wary on it isn't it in a way um every every piece of ele every electronic device has a lifespan eventually pray to uh the gods keep my pc keep my pc running that's the thing i need the most just please keep the pc running uh <laughs> um so i kind of if i have a game that i can play on either i will probably f just favor the 360 if that makes sense and i've got backup 360s as well honestly i've got a couple of them <laughs> um rather than like wearing out my xbox one it's it's, it's just a weird way to think about it, about it and i think anyway if you if you put your um an xbox 360 game into your xbox one correct me if i'm, if I'm wrong but i think it basically has to it just recognize it and just has to like essentially download the game a version of the game to play on your xbox one so it's not even like you're running from the game it's like i'm having to download temporarily big chunks of data put it on my xbox one hard drive just to play a game when i don't wouldn't have to do the same thing on 360 so that's the that's the theory at least but yes we shall leave it there we'll kill that guy tomorrow and then continue to uh explore autumn tig uh and um see if we can't uh get a clue as to where bronco is i think we will we're about to find a journal it's good nice of the game to let us know that uh <laughs> but thank you all for being here it's, it's, it's been a short stream but it's been a very a very fun and interesting stream Uh, thank you very much to um, Parrot, Robot Death Parrot for the raid, uh, Retro Johnny for the raid, and Era for the raid. Three raids, my god. Um, and uh, all very much appreciated. Lucky to be getting so many lovely people raiding in. Um, especially on a, a, a skewed stream like today. Um, we'll return tomorrow with more Dragon Age Origins. Uh, say i say same time um i guess i will be taking care of the bits and pieces i need to take care of uh this little bit of work i need to do it shouldn't take as long as it did today i don't think i hope um i there's no way of knowing until i get around to it but there definitely will be a stream uh, I'm hoping it's going to be longer than it was today, but we shall see. Either way, we will be here at some point, and we will do some more Dragon Age Origins. Making good progress, folks. Um, so thank you all for being here. So um, the final thing to do is to uh, raid into somebody. If anybody would like to choose where we raid, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, If you want to spend your channel points today, it doesn't matter if you do not want to today. You want to save your channel points probably more for a flex. That seems to be the, the thing that people are mostly into. Um, oh, well, well, well. I've got some good, decent choices there. So we've, uh, on this period, this week, we have raided Leedipus, a Slight of Game, and Barrel. Uh, Lee and Slight are currently uh, streaming. So we will not we will not raid them today. Um good some decent people around uh someone who has raided me many many times and i have like rarely had the opportunity i may have raided him once uh before but uh it is like a rarity he usually does a super early morning streams um is uh kratos mvn he's playing some uh Ah, he's doing an eight-hour stream. He's he's playing some GeoGuessr, which uh, could be uh, fun and interesting. But it doesn't matter what he's playing, what he's doing. Uh, Vince is his name. He's a wonderful young man. Uh, honored to know him, and he's uh, been a massive supporter of me over uh, over the, uh, the streaming time. Um. Oh, oh, does it, Luna? I didn't realize it does that. 
I wonder, yeah, I guess for some games, the, uh, is that built in for any, any game, or uh, is that, it's per game, either way, so yes, definitely better, you know, I'm not, I don't have, uh, I don't have a hatred of, uh, I'm quite happy playing a game at 30 frames per second, but if you can get it higher than that, if you get up to 60, then it is better, it will look better, and uh, for it jankily crashing out like that, I wonder if more frames might have helped, but anyway, let me uh, send us all over to Vince. If you don't know him, hang around for a minute. He's he's a lovely young man. Um, to say hello. But yeah, if you if you need people need to head off, we've got things to do. I need to get food and sort myself out for this evening. Uh, do a little relax, relaxing time. God, I need to uh, air out my nether regions. Sat here in my shorts and my uh. What's the what's the word for um not friction? My my underwear, I wear like quite t tight uh underwear. So I need to <laughs> Anyway, you don't, what am I talking about? You don't need to hear about this. Anyway, uh <laughs> Um I'm rather sweaty is what I'm saying, but it's fine. Uh so be it. That's summer for you. Anyway, let me send let me get this raid on the way. Uh yes, yeah, so I will be back tomorrow. Uh keep an eye out. Uh chafing. Not chafing. It's it's too wet to be chafing, uh, Akuma. <laughs> um, how you doing, sir? You right? Anyway, what are you doing? You're you're, you're streaming at a minute, bud. Pop in here. What are you doing? I just found Dragon Quest. Nice. Uh, you were. Uh, <laughs> I, I did consider uh, you were on my uh, short list there, uh, Akuma. But uh, I, it's been a while since I've seen Vince, so I'm just gonna get him back. Um. But, uh, oh, you're just finishing up. Okay, that's, that works out then. Uh, oh, my God, I'm about ready for bed, honestly. Oh, dearie me. You oh, you played the first one. Yeah, I hear that, like, super retro, which is not never a bad thing, necessarily. Um, oh, before I fall asleep here, yes, if anybody needs me between now and tomorrow, uh, just send me a message on Discord, and I shall get. I shall endeavour to get back to you. It's been uh, an absolute pleasure, folks. Uh, and you loved it. I have to add it to my list in the coma. I'm sure I've got access to them. Um, I hope to see you all tomorrow, um, or sometime in the near future. Take care, my friends. I'll see you soon. Let's go. Is this Japanese? Is this Japanese? Hey, welcome in Raiders. Can I get a shout out for Isn't It? Do I have a mod in the chat? Is thank you so much for the shout out. This is not Japan. Welcome on in. How are you doing? We're currently playing some GeoGuessr. For those who don't know me, I'm Kratos or Vince, whatever you want to call me. I really appreciate the raid. Welcome in Raiders. I'm a variety streamer from Canada, and uh, we are playing some GeoGuessr today, having some fun. Our comeback stream after being away for like a full week. I'm gonna go Taiwan. I'm going full on Taiwan here, I believe. I believe it's Taipei. Hey, I was right. I was right. You was also right. We were literally like right beside one another. Uh, welcome in. I see no China. Yeah, it was Taiwan. The only place in China, in China it can be is either Taiwan or Hong Kong.